sweet as switches, pitches this side of the ditches. Pull up your bridges, I'll be hitting switches on that ass. If I got class, but this is where I'll be giving it up. Cause the fucking me wants to get freaky. Nobody ever gonna love you. Sorry if I'm I'm uh, I'm uh, all over the shop uh, uh, tonight, and um, I, I was thinking of myself out there. I mean, because you would, you wouldn't think of anybody else, would you? I mean, fucking cut out a middleman, think for yourself. That's what I say. You know? Do you know what? Uh, just before I start, I'm, uh, do you know what? I'm I'm actually ambidextrous. I can actually write fuck all with both hands. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> but uh, I actually got up at 11 o'clock this morning. I would have got up sooner, but fucking, I was asleep. <laughs> Uh, sorry, but um, I, uh, I don't know, my, my mate come around this morning, uh, John, he works at the Reader's Digest, and uh, I just put him straight in the bin, because he... <laughs> but so it's great to be here, and uh, you know, you know I, went, I went to the zoo, went to the zoo, and uh, you know when you look through the glass at the animals, like, <laughs> you know, and you go, hey, look, look, <laughs> and then I went, oh, sorry, two adults and a child, please. <laughs> I was out here today, I was out here today, and you know when you're walking down the street and somebody's coming towards you like that, and, and you kind of walk to one side to get round, but they go the same way. Do you know what I mean? I've done that today, I went, oh, excuse me, oh, uh, excuse me, so, two hours I was there today. Excuse me. <laughs> Found out it was my reflection in a shop window, it was... <laughs> but, uh... And I was like, have you ever seen this? I saw somebody today with a piece of Mac, you know, obviously slammed in the car door like that, and you try and tell them. They go mad, you go, piece of Mac! Four miles he dragged me before I get out. <laughs> I should have went, I should have went. Um, <laughs> but, uh, I don't know, organised my own surprise party uh, today. Fuck you know, no one turned up, you know. Uh, not even me. Well, I wouldn't to know about it, so I didn't fucking go. <laughs> uh, but, um, and, uh, and, and let's start the proceedings as we need to go on. I'm ugly, you know, I am. I know this. I actually, um, <laughs> I bought a book on impotency and, uh, you know, pop-up version and, uh, and uh, kind of opened it up, came up like that, and then it sort of went down, really. So. <laughs> and uh, I bought the lover's guide, the video. Fantastic. You put, I put it in the machine like that. It came out, I put it in, came out, put it in. Then <laughs> well, I fell asleep, so, um... <laughs> I went out with this girl once who wouldn't do anything unless I switched all the lights out, you know, and uh, uh, I said, why? She said, well, you know, the sight of a puny white body might put, put you off. And I said, well, you've got a lovely body. She said, no, not my body, your body. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of people ask me uh, where my comedy comes from, is, and it's their old cliche, you know, uh, it's cool if, you know, someone hard comes over to you and they want to beat you up, you know, you do a bit of comedy and they leave you alone. Do you know what I mean? Make the big guy laugh. And that's the same as me. I used to go around, you know, beating up the weeds and nicking their gags. Do you know what I mean? Just... <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I don't know, and I'm doing very well, I'm doing very well. I've got personalised number plates on my car now. I had to change my name to CMV456, but I'm fucking... <laughs> I'm getting there, you know. I actually locked my car keys in my car, and I was very lucky, because this copper came along, and this brilliant thing. He got, like, a coat hanger, he got it in the window, he fucking, he let me out. I was, I got out, I was out, I was out. <laughs> so that was good. And, uh, you know, I had a new front door fitted on my house, opens outwards, people knock on the door, you go, yeah? <laughs> Fucking no one there again! <laughs> and, uh... I wanted more rooms, so I knocked two rooms into one, you know? Trouble is, when I go to bed, I fall back in the fucking lounge. <laughs> Cleaned all the windows the other day, it took me four hours on the outside there. You know, well, three hours to clean the bathroom window. Then my neighbour said the next day, I thought that was frosted yesterday, wasn't it? <laughs> and, uh, you know when you come to your house, seriously, seriously, you, you only come to your house and you think, I forgot something, I forgot something. And I'm doing 90 up the moment, and I thought, what is it? I forgot what the fuck, what the fuck, and, and, and I, I, you can't, I, I forgot my car, I forgot my car. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> So I goes back home, you know, open the garage, and I thought, I ain't got a fucking car, so what? I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> I haven't got a house. 
So, you know. But that happens. You know when you come at your house and you do, your brain does that little trick on you like that. You go, you just as you leave, you go, you forgot to it. And you go, but he don't tell you what. You go, what, what? And he go, I'm not telling you yet. <laughs> well, I think I've got everything. No, you ain't got everything. <laughs> and it waits. It's like a ring around your house like this. Waits for that safe distance. And he goes, you left the gas on. <laughs> My dad used to have that, you know, it's like um, all, all male species have got it. They've got like a piece of grey material at the back there in their brain, you know, it takes notes. Because my mum used to be talking to him and he could read the paper and listen to my mum at the same time. You know, my mum would, go, my mum would be going, mm, 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 mm. you know, and the, and the little piece of brain would be going, ah, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Is it the end when she'd go, ah, well, you're not listening to me, are you? Go, yeah, put the rubbish out tomorrow. Yeah, where was I? Yeah, I was driving around London, and uh, you know when you're driving around town, you know, especially London, and you don't know your way, because I don't know my way around, you know, and you, and it's so strange, because like the one-way systems in London are a fucking nightmare, aren't they? You see people still going around London, that's, they've been there for years, going, Ford, help me! I've been here for a year! Even the signs in London go, I don't fucking know, I don't fucking know, I don't... <laughs> but you know when you're driving around a strange town, and you look for the bloke who looks like he knows, and you stop and ask, and they go, no, um, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you go down there, over the bridge, the bridge isn't there anymore, but fuck it, go over it anyway. <laughs> down the road, and you get down there, and he's fucking there. <laughs> Hello, oi! <laughs> I, I, I don't know, I get very nervous when I come on stage, and, uh, and, and I don't know, it's like, it's strange. Isn't it strange when you get nervous that your whole body sort of tenses up, but your bowels relax? <laughs> and I think it's a defensive thing. I really do. You know, if you ever go at an octopus or something, all that ink sort of comes out. And I think that's the same for us. If somebody threatens us, we go, <laughs> you know, it's like a group of blokes going, and you go, and they go, Same sort of thing, you know. And uh, people have balls. Have you seen these? Like the two silver balls, they kind of go, oh, I'm a bit worried, a bit stressed out. You see? <laughs> and you think, I'm thinking to myself, people buy these, and you know, blokes have been doing that for years, haven't they? <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit stressed out, yeah. yeah. Just a bit stressed, you know. Just a bit worried. <laughs> Weird. But, uh, I don't know, and uh, I, I, I used to drink, I used to drink before I come on stage, but drinking, you know, is bad for your body because it makes you do things that you wouldn't normally do and say things that you wouldn't normally say. It's true, I'd have a couple of pints, I'd walk on stage, I'd walk on stage and go, eh! Uh. And then walk off. <laughs> it's not, you know, like, you know when we go out on a Friday or Saturday night, you have a few bevies and stuff, we come home, you lay down on the bed and you shut your eyes. Now that is when your body starts doing things like independently of you. Do you know what I mean? It's true. First of all, your brain will say, okay, we're going on a training mission for outer space now. And the room goes, <laughs> window comes off the wall and goes, oh, I'm over here. <laughs> so your stomach's in there going, it's a deep air pizza coming up without the base. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird, you kind of make it to the toilet, you put your head over the toilet and you feel fine. You like, I won't be hit, I will not be hit. <laughs> you will, and not through your mouth, but through your nose. You will. <laughs> You know when you get that drunk, right, you're in a club or something, you know, and somebody says, are you dancing? You go, no, I'm pissed. <laughs> Do you know what I get? They say, you pissed? I go, no, I was dancing, actually. <laughs> I used to smoke, I, you know, give up, give up smoking. I use these new Nicorette patches and they're fantastic. You put one over each eye and you can't find your fags. <laughs> I don't know, people have non-alcoholic lager now, don't they? Non-alcoholic lager, what is the fucking point? Everything's got nothing in it. You've got like, coffee with no caffeine, you've got like, uh, I don't know, like soap with no soap. You know, it's like, I don't know, you've seen you'll have just a bottle with fuck all on it, on the shelf. It must be good for me. It must be, it's got nothing in it. I mean, lager is not a required taste. Why would you drink it anyway if it's like, you're not, you're not you're, you know, to get pissed? Really, that's the only reason. They don't have like, you know, like you have a wine soiree tasting thing, right? You wouldn't have like a lager tasting soiree, would you? Do you know what I mean? Where all these people go, mm, mm, yeah, I reckon I could fucking nut somebody on that one. <laughs> I don't know. Can you imagine like a night out on non alcoholic lager? That'd be a barrel of laughs, wouldn't it? Fucking hell. Yeah, went up the ice street, broke some fights up, you know. <laughs> hey, 
and uh, went out to Chinese, fucking took, cleaned it all up for them, so, you know, it was a great night off. <laughs> well, no, where was I? Yeah, so I've been sort of travelling around, been travelling around, and I actually watched a film on the coach the other day, and it's crap, because you can't see it, you know, and you can't hear it, you know, not from your car, anyway, you know what I mean, you can't... <laughs> It's like, uh, it's like sheep, you know, it's like wool. You know when you have a jumper and it shrinks, you know? And you never see a sheep when it's raining out in a field, like all shrunk up. Little... <laughs> you know that back bit that comes up when you jumper like that? Like a sheep going like that, my mum washed it. <laughs> all its arse showing there. <laughs> it's like dogs, you know, dogs, you know, it's like, we, we got a dog, we got a dog at home, it's very old now, it's all grey. I don't know what it's in doggiest, but it's dead, you know what I mean? <laughs> it really is. And it's very jealous at the moment, because we've just had a little baby, little Mo, right? A uh, little Mo, and, uh, and the dog is jealous because it's had all the attentions. Like, we're coming with Mo like that, and the dog will be in, like a napping and a dummy going, me, me, me! <laughs> I've shit myself! <laughs> so sad. Ah, oh, poor thing. And we had all its sort of jibs taken away. We did have it cut off, and that's sad. I, see, I mean, imagine if it was you, do you know what I mean? Women going, well, I see women going, what? <laughs> but you, I, you had it all taken away, and it's so sad, because you take them down the vet, you know, and you kind of lay them on that table, and they go, this is nice. <laughs> this is all right, isn't it? And they go to sleep like that, and they go, this is nice, this is nice. Then they wake up, and they're, they're surrounded by people going, good boy, good boy, good boy. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> Good boy! Good boy! Fuck that! Where's me bollocks? Come on! <laughs> <laughs> and I reckon, I reckon, right, this is my theory, I reckon that's why dogs always chase bulls. That's right, if you throw a bull like that, a dog will go, let's be bollocks! Because <laughs> if you notice, they always bring them back. They go like that. <laughs> And they throw it again, they go, oh, fuck. <laughs> Come back packed in ice like that. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's always trying to escape as well, because we, because of mowing that, it's always at the back, it back, back fence, we've got this little back fence, you know, and it's going up, going up and down on the motorbike, going, <clears throat> like Steve McQueen from The Great Escape. <laughs> you know what, in The Great Escape, that film, I was going to say, you know when uh, he kind of catches him out and he kind of gets off the train, and he goes, have a nice journey, and that bloke goes, yeah, thank you very much. Oh, fuck it. You know, and, I, and it's like that time when you're done the pub. You know when you're 14, you kind of go in like that and you go, pop, 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 pint of lager, please. And the woman beyond the bar goes, yeah, no problem. Have a good day at school. And you go, uh, yeah, geography was a bit off. Oh, <laughs> but uh, I don't know, it's like, and, and I'm not, you know, I'm not, I can't lay out in the sun either, you know, and uh, I can't because I'm white. Look, you know, look, 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 I'm white, look. I'm terrible, I reflect. I really do. I do. I like a bit of tin foil on the beach there. Do you know what? People are coming up doing their air in me like that. Going, Seriously, mate. When I go swimming, you know, when I go swimming, I've got a shoulder mackerel behind me. I think I'm a fucking spinner. <laughs> Sad. Oh, no. But uh, sharks as well. Sharks. Cool, blimey. They've got bad press, I think, sharks. Do you know what I mean? Because like, every time there's a documentary about the sea, they film a shark. They go, now we join the shark. Like that, you know, but if they filmed anything else, it'd be boring. If they filmed like a jellyfish, went like that, right, go and go. <laughs> Do something else. I can't. <laughs> Sharks get a bad press, you know what I mean? It's true. Every time they go, I mean, but you know, it's like they incite it. If they drop a cage into the sea like that, and there's like a little hole in the cage, and the shark, you can see, they see, we see the shark coming now, and we see the shark going like that. What you doing down here? <laughs> what are you fucking doing down here? <laughs> And then what they do is they get a bit of meat, right? And they go, and we make now the shark angry. And then they get a bit of meat and go, oi, wanger! <laughs> and the shark goes, oh, is that for me? Oh, <laughs> oh you fucking... <laughs> if you went down the supermarket and you said, I'll have that bit of meat there, please. The bloke beyond the counter went like, yeah, like, ew, 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 oh, cool, yeah. <laughs> But uh, so we've been doing that and uh, I don't know, but sort of staying in here as well, been staying in like B&Bs, you know, uh, from hell, really. Because like these old houses, you know these old houses, they convert into B&Bs, you know? And uh, <laughs> it's like a nightmare. They got, one thing I really hate is they give you like one pillow at night, you know, and it's like wafer thin. Do you know what I mean? And you have to get the fucking... I can't. <laughs> so what you have to do is you have to fold it over, then fold it over again. You know, I woke up in the morning and I had one of those things you used to have at school, pick a colour, pick a number, pick a colour. <laughs> I 
wardrobe, over the wardrobe, right, they've got padded hangers in there. Right, padded, what they, what's, what you got a padded hanger for? What's so dangerous about a hanger? <laughs> After a wake-up call, they go, what time? You go, ooh, pff, about eight o'clock, they go, right, ring me about five, two, just to remind me. <laughs> you get in the shower, you know, get a free shower cap, which is great, you know, uh, put it over the shower, it stops the water, it's amazing, you know. <laughs> But you get in, and it's probably just me on this one, but I don't know, you, you know when you turn that, that shower, the water on like that, and that curtain suddenly loves you, doesn't it? <laughs> it's like, ah, ah. <laughs> and they say, don't come in late. Don't you fucking come in late. <laughs> and we come in late, you know, it's like, and, and they've got these big front doors you've got to shut. You know when you come in, you go, <coughs> oh, fucking hell, my <coughs> And then what you do is you do the big slam with the song. You go, as if it helps. Do you know what I mean? I don't know what that is. Yeah. And you got, you got like, uh, I was sort of, you know, when you're sort of travelling down uh, the motorway, travelling late at night, and I drive, I drive for miles. Do you know what I mean? I drive and drive. You know, it's a night off. And you see this thing, the services, this thing that kind of draws you in. You know, because you're kind of driving, you go, you're not hungry, you're not thirsty, and you go, Hurbert. <laughs> and you can see the surface, all them lights going like that. Fucking great in here! Fucking brilliant in here! And you think, I'll oh, go in. <laughs> and you go in, and it's shut, you know. <laughs> it's shut. All the shut, shut, it's shut. Is there anything open? No, it's shut. I'm shut. <laughs> Restaurants over the bridge. Oh, <laughs> You know when you go in the toilet, right? This is the thing, you go in the toilet and you kind of go, oh, like that. And then you kind of turn around and then you see that bloke going like that. <laughs> Just cleaning the taps there. Malcolm, his name is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And I hate it when you're under the dryer as well. You know when you're under the dryer like that and there's a huge smell in the loo, you know? And somebody will walk in behind you and go, oh, dear. <laughs> it's not me. It's fucking not me. <laughs> yes, it is, you disgusting. <laughs> it's not me. Because I get embarrassed for other people. I seriously do. I'm, I get embarrassed. You know, if somebody's in the toilet going, Ugh, I go like that. La, 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 la. <laughs> la, la, la. <laughs> they're in there going like that. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> and you kind of go in, you know. And then you kind of walk through, you know, that kind of this like, big area that Malcolm's cleaning with this kind of mop. Have you seen that mop? What the hell is that? It's like a, I don't know, it's like a V-shaped mop. It's like, I don't know, it's like, I don't know, they kind of, you know, it's like... Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, that's all right. <laughs> what the hell is that? And you kind of go in, you know, and everything costs a fortune, you know, like you have to sell your car to get a fucking sandwich, you know. <laughs> Nightman, you look at, the, have you seen the beans? You go up to the beans like that and they go, what do you want? And you go, a bean, oh, don't know, and the beans are like that, help me. <laughs> Those beans all right? Yeah, they're probably all right. Why? <laughs> we've had to warm them up, you know. Stores have gone down. We put them through Malcolm. We've warmed them up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Malcolm, strange bloke. You know, it's like that thing, you know when you go down the supermarket and you're in the queue and that woman beyond the till goes, and she needs a price, and she goes, Malcolm! Like that. <laughs> and you hear from the aisles, right? The aisles, like that, you hear. <laughs> and like fucking beans are going everywhere, you know. And then Malcolm comes out and goes like that. Yeah? <laughs> Need a price on the corn, corn flakes? Corn flakes, right. And then he goes back in, you know, and there's like a rumbling, you know. Everyone's in the queue going, what you know, what's... And then he suddenly comes out and goes like that. 449. <laughs> and it's all the same bloke. It's the bloke who give me directions tonight, the bloke in the services, and him in the fucking supermarket. And that was me once. <laughs> That was me once. Well, fucking still am. What am I talking about? Yeah, you are an idiot, Lee. Yeah, I know. I don't get on with supermarkets. You know when you walk around a supermarket and you haven't bought anything and you, and you have to walk through the tills, they make you feel so guilty, don't they? Oh, yeah, and they even put them kind of plastic chains up so you've got to step over, you know, you kind of step over and go, I got nothing! I never had anything! You've got like a solicitor with you going, he's a good man, he's a good man! <laughs> <laughs> And I like it in the restaurant as well. You know, in the, uh, uh, you know, in the, in the, in the services, right? You kind of, uh, this bloke gets a big pile of food on his tray like that, and he turns around and he goes like that. Oh, Vera! <laughs> and everybody goes like that. 
somebody in the restaurant goes, Wenger! <laughs> His immediate reaction is to blame the tray. He goes, Dray! Fucking Dray! <laughs> no, no, Wenger! <laughs> They're shouting in, a, in an animal object. And that is my theory behind us how a plane gets off the ground. You get on a plane, you see all that metal, you see the people on there, you know, you see the enormous weight and the cases going in there. You think, how does this get off the ground? Well, we will it up in the air. It's, you watch it, or look around you. Next time you're on a plane going down the runway, at the end of the runway, you look around you, everyone's going, fucking come on. <laughs> It's like the front going, fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> fucking work this thing, come on! I don't know, it's like uh, a bit of restaurant, so it's like McDonald's. You know, it's like they've got the, uh, <laughs> you know, when you go to uh, the drive-in uh, McDonald's, like that and, that, and you have to speak into that little speaker. You know, you kind of drive in and you hear, what do you want? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> what do you want? And you go, uh, oh, burger! <laughs> What are you having? <laughs> what do you want? You want burger? Burger? Fucking burger queen. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Two burgers! <laughs> do you want milk? Milk? Do you want a milkshake? <laughs> chocolate or strawberry? Chocolate or strawberry? <laughs> chocolate or strawberry? Chocolate. Chocolate. Strawberry! Strawberry! <laughs> Two, two, I want one. Two strawberries. <laughs> I don't know why you can't just drive round the window. Do you know what I mean? Ask for it there. I don't know. It's like when you, uh, it's, it's like when you go. Oh, you remember Burger King? You used to have them like earphones here, like that. And you'd walk in, you go uh, burger, and they go, and it's like amplified. They go uh, burger, burger, please, burger. What the hell is that? You want a burger, don't you? Burger, burger. But the thing is, there's a bloke, right, I'm serious, there's a bloke four foot away behind her going, yeah, right. <laughs> I could have fucking told him. Burger. <laughs> it's like when I was on the dog. Seriously, you go down the doll office, right, and it's like speaking in front, you know, I've got to speak to this bloke through the glass, and he's had it all day, you go, where's my fucking money? I got no fucking money! And he's behind the glass, he's had it all day, he's going, I ain't got no fucking money. I ain't got any fucking money. Where is my money? And I didn't realise, but all the chairs are bolted to the floor, right? So you go, right, you... <laughs> if you pull real hard, you know, <laughs> all your fingernails are missing, then the side of the seat... Oh, you look behind you, there's three rows of people going, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so when you go for an x-ray, you go for an x-ray and you lay, you know, the nurse will lay on that big table like that, you know, and she'll bring these big apparatus down on top of you and then she'll go and stand behind like this bomb-proof bloody wall. <laughs> and she'll look for you through that little window and go, everything's going to be all right! <laughs> Just lay still! <laughs> Why the fuck are you behind there then? <laughs> Come out here with me! Oh no! <laughs> but McDonald's, they just want to clean, don't they? Clean, clean, bleeding clean. It's true, you'd be standing in McDonald's on a sterilised piece of floor and there'd be a bloke with a mop, I guarantee, coming towards you going, Clean. Oh, clean, I love to clean. Oh, I just love to clean. Fucking clean! Now it's dirty. I want to clean that bit you're on. Please. Sometimes, right? Sometimes they don't even want to let you get to your seat. You'll have all your stuff, you'll be on your way to the seat, and they're curling you with the mop out the door. So... <laughs> I don't know. Driving McDonald's, though, you know, it's so lazy when you kind of drive, and you even feel guilty about going in. You kind of undo the window, you know, and they're already sat down, you at that hatch, and you go, Where's it, Phil? Phil! <laughs> you know, and they go, Here's your phone, and you go, Have the... Uh... All right, in one day, we're just going to drive in there and they go, could you do it for me? Because <laughs> I can't be bothered. <laughs> could, you, <laughs> could you pass it through your bodily system for me? <sighs> I can't be bothered. 
restaurant. We've got like, because uh, we are the wobbly family, we are. We are. Me and my family, we're the wobbly family. We always get the wobbly table. Always. We sit down, it wobbles. Do you know what I mean? It's just, we kind of walk in and go, hello. <laughs> Have you got the wobbly table? <laughs> Yes, it's over there. Thank you very much. <laughs> they know it wobbles, take it away, you know. So you ever go in a restaurant, you know, and there's two of you, right? There's two of you, and the waiter will come up and go, uh, table for two, and you go, um, just in a minute, let me count. <laughs> One, two, yes, fucking please. <laughs> It's like mysteries of life, you know, it's like this thing, if you, if you drop a piece of bread on the floor, apparently it's going to land butter side down. So you know the best thing to do? Drop the bread, then butter it. <laughs> Easy. You could always like butter the floor and then just like throw the bread down. <laughs> when somebody says to you, I hate this, when somebody, you know when somebody goes, oh you know the, uh, oh no it doesn't matter, and you go, no what, 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 and they go, no, 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 it doesn't matter, and you go, no, what? And they go, well, it's not important, you know, and you go, but it is now, isn't it? So you go, no, fucking what? And they go, well, if you're going to be like that, I'm not telling you then. <laughs> I hate that. Warm, I need warm. If I went to the toilet now, I'd pass steam, you know what I mean? In fact, I'd whistle. <laughs> I should, uh, I suppose I should uh, really keep fit. I try to follow sport, do you know what I mean? I like that everyone's grunting these days. Everyone, like, you know, like, uh, shop put... You know, shot putters, uh, a girl like that, uh, like that, you know, and you go, oh, fuck, you know, and it's like everyone's doing it. It's like tennis players now grunt, you know, they go, uh, 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 uh. and I'm thinking, you know, chess players are sportsmen, why don't they grunt? You know what I mean? Right, your move. Uh, uh. <laughs> It's like Fatima Whitbread, fantastic athlete, brilliant, best in her field, you know what I mean? When she throws that javelin, it's amazing. But I'm thinking to myself, do you think she's got a dog? Do you think so? It's like, fetch, boy! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Taxi! <laughs> I want me balls back, but I'm not going that far. <laughs> Cricket, cricket, I mean, you know, unless you're batting, it's crap, to be honest. Do you know what I mean? It is cricket, it's like, it's so slow. It's like, it's, it's like, here, here's the ball, here we go. Here, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes, here we go. And... And that's it. <laughs> what they want is a spear, they want a fucking spear, don't they? Oi! <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's got to catch that. So... <laughs> Even the people that go to cricket matches are slow. They kind of turn up, they've got loads of beer, they sit like on the terraces like that. Mexican wave at cricket matches, like, ah! Yeah, bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, fuck off, go, go. That's how my brain goes. It goes, no, yeah, no, no. <laughs> Just all that's around in my head. I, don't, I make most of this fucking up. I've got to be honest. <laughs> I see people out there going, we know, mate. <laughs> I can see it in your eyes. I don't know. It's like, you know, and all these sportsmen, they all get into, uh, they all get into like, uh, panto, don't they? Every year, pantomime, pantomime. And actors, are, they, actors say, they're nicking out jobs. They're nicking out jobs. Well, why don't they fight back? Why don't they fucking get into sport then? That'd be a barrel last, wouldn't it? Like, long jump would be like that. You know, it'd be like, uh, uh, hop, skipping a fucking... Da, 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 da. <laughs> the foul in football would be different, wouldn't it? Someone would get fouled and they go down, they go, oh! Oh! <laughs> Referee! <laughs> Mate. Oh, what's the matter? Pain. <laughs> Book that man now. Love <laughs> comes on with a sponge. I'm coming. Weird. I don't know. Sport. Because oh, I'm not a sportsman. I don't swim. Well, I, I do swim, but I don't do lengths. I do depths. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Rapid sport. But, uh, <laughs> 
It's like, uh, it's like I watch, I try and, keep, try and keep up with sport, and the news, try and keep up with the news as well, you know. It's like this woman in London had a baby stolen from the bottom of a bed. Fucking incredible. She got it back, which is a good thing. But I've got a good solution for this. Why don't they leave the umbilical cord on? <laughs> no one's gonna steal your kid. No one's gonna run to the hospital and go, hey! <laughs> A woman drag it behind you, go, fuck it out! <laughs> I can see women there going, kill him, kill him now. Fair comment, really. Don't know, it's getting bad. Like old people say, didn't they? Oh, years ago, you could leave your front door open, you coat. You could take the front of your fucking house off, you could. You could put your stuff out in the front, they would nick it, they would nick it. You could go down the police station, you could, and tell them I have not been burgled, and they go, well done, I know. <laughs> Uh, it's like rough around where I live. You know Vision Express, their window all got put through the other day? It was replaced within the hour, you know. <laughs> all new frames, it was amazing. <laughs> where was I? Oh yeah, kind of watch the news and I keep up. It's like adverts get me, because it's all getting more sex orientated now, don't you? And it's getting worse, it's like, like, it's like that. It's like, <laughs> you know, it's getting so bad. <laughs> <laughs> It's getting really bad. It's like, you know, what would what be in the future? It'd be like a man and a woman going, uh, 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 insurance? <laughs> From Churchill. <laughs> oh, eight five. Oh, eight five, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I watch some of the programs. It's like, uh, you know, like Christmas is on the way. All the films come out. Uh, a 007 film coming out as well next week. That'd be a laugh. I suppose like now it'd be like 0107, wouldn't it? He's <laughs> got to move with the times. That's what they said about it, didn't they? I mean, he's such a twat, though, isn't he? Like, hi, my name's James. James Bond. Oh, fucking is it? <laughs> you imagine then a local pub, like, hey, my name's Jim. yeah. No wonder you get into so much bleeding trouble, mate. You're asking for a spanking now. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's like you had a license to kill, right? Does that mean you have to get like a provisional license to kill? <laughs> Some boat with a dual controlled gun going, wheezy, easy, easy. Fucking <laughs> easy, wait, wait. <laughs> I like cowboy films. Oh, they make me laugh. Because I like it when somebody gets shot, like a cowboy gets shot, and they fall on the floor like that. And then a bloke runs up and he goes, Rex, Rex. And he lifts up his head. You know, they always do that. And then and they go, talk, mama, talk, mama. And I'm thinking, you just wouldn't say that. Do you know what I mean? If somebody lifted my head, I'd just been shot. I'd go, get a fucking ambulance. <laughs> Don't you want to tell mama anything? Yes, get a fucking ambulance. <laughs> I've been shot. I like it when, also, when a cowboy's asleep, asleep at night. You ever seen that? They're asleep on their saddle like that, and an Indian's creeping up on him, going like that. Indian creeping up on cowboy. And the cowboy goes like that. He goes, don't move, Indian. Like that. And the Indian goes, oh, he got me. <laughs> How did he do that? And they always do that. And they say that, you know, it's like people, get, people say, don't they? They go, I've got a big stick under my bed. Somebody breaks into my ass, I'll have them. Yeah, I'm sure you would. You know, three o'clock at night, somebody breaks into your bedroom like that, you wake up and you go, no, wait, wait. Well, I've got a whistle light. Where's the fucking light? Wait, mate, I need a coffee. Just wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. And, and then, uh, you know, got the films at Christmas and all that. I'm going to spend Christmas with my family for once. I never, ever do, and I'm going to spend it with my uh, family and all that. You know, Christmas. <laughs> you know, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Yeah, to you and I, mate. I don't know. It's like old people, as soon as it's snow, isn't it? They're out there slipping all over the shop, aren't they? <laughs> every year. Every year. Strewned in fucking high streets everywhere, aren't they? <laughs> You're right, love. I slipped over there. Yes, I know. <laughs> yes. As soon as they walk out their door, it's like it's snowing, they go, <laughs> It's the shoe manufacturers. They give them the shoes, you see? They don't know. It's like they give them the shoes, and they, every winter, the shoe manufacturers go, right, it's Christmas, come on, fucking shine the shoes up. Oh, it's up! <laughs> You're right, love, it's the shoes. Yes, yes. <laughs> you see them going down the R Street, you know, go, oh, it's the shoes! <laughs> I don't know why we're messing about in the Olympics with crap athletes. Let's get the old people over there. Let's show them a thing or two. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's the shoes! 
<laughs> the blue rinse. Who was the first old person? Uh, I don't ever get old people because, you know, I've got to be old, you know, as well, ain't I? Yeah, I oh, know. Well, anyway. But, you know, the first person to go and ask for a blue rinse. Do you know what I mean? You kind of sit in the chair and you go, what can I do for you, love? And you go, I'll have it blue. <laughs> now, wait a minute. You're not brown or black or any other normal colour. No, blue. <laughs> blue. Yes, blue. <laughs> what must she have done when she walked out of that shop and went, I've got blue hair. <laughs> yes, we know. I see you fucking coming a mile off. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's like <laughs> Christmas as well. Nuts, peanuts, you go like that, don't you? I'll, I'll just have one. I'll have, I'll have one. Just have one. Like that, and you go, no, no. Oh, oh no, no, no. <laughs> big funnel, big funnel like that. People pouring nuts in going, help me, help me. <laughs> Very addictive. There'll be people on street corners going, oh, 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 want some nuts, want some nuts. <laughs> Mince pies are very deceiving, aren't they? Very deceiving from the microwave, aren't they? You kind of take them out of there, they look bit like wolves in sheep's clothing, they are. You go like that. That looks nice. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like carol singers, I think they're getting so sophisticated these days. Carol singers, they really are. When I was a kid, you kind of knock on the door and you go, Ding dong, Mary no! Bells are ringing! <laughs> sing, then. Fucking sing. <laughs> Ding dong, Mary no! And that old woman would go, Yeah, what do you want? A bit of cake, please. And she go, oh, all right then. <laughs> now, now, they ring your bell like that. You go to the door, you open the door, they got like barriers, bouncers going, leave the boys, let them sing. <laughs> they got managers going, they're ready in September. And it's like, take that at the fucking door. It's like, ding dong, merrily and high. <laughs> Bells are ringing. Tra la 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 la. <laughs> And all around the table, you know, when you've got to sit around with your family and all that, and everyone's got to wear a hat, you go, put the hat on. Yeah, we're all going to look the twats, you know. <laughs> and sometimes you get one out, it's like one side is yellow and one side is blue. Do you know what I mean? You go, ah, look, I've got a blue and yellow one. <laughs> look at that, blue and yellow crepe. And the charity collectors, they always come out in the ice street, charity, charity. And I like it when people kind of walk past charity collectors because they kind of, you know, they do that thing. If you walk past a charity collector, you kind of try and keep your change still. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> usually, usually you get to about there and your change goes chink, chink. <laughs> Cheers. I had the two pence like that. Cheers. Sure. <laughs> I know. Don't you think there's a small turkey now going, Mom! Don't arm oh, me, you'll be eating it. You'll be like that going, oh. <laughs> Poor turkey. <laughs> Tastes nice though, doesn't it? <laughs> Do you arm oh, me? <laughs> Christmas. But I sit there, because I've got my own family now, you know. Uh, my balls work. My balls work. <laughs> There's people going, really? <laughs> yeah, my balls are in there and they're going, yeah, right. <laughs> It's incredible, you know, because sperm is an amazing thing. It really is. Like, you know, before sperm comes out, I'm serious, you know, it's like sperm will get ready, get ready to come out, and it's like that. It puts like a swimming hat on, you know, the goggles like that. And it's just like, swim, swim, all that white stuff that the channel swimmers wear, like that. And then it's like, off. And all these sperm go, bang, and they're off, and they're swimming. And it doesn't matter where, it's like, swim, 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 swim. Swim it to that. You know, it's like a, a, they got like a support boat next to them going, you're doing very well. <laughs> and all the eggs come up like that and then they see the ovary going like that hi boys <laughs> and they go there she is and then they go swim and only one gets in only one goes oh, I made it oh, I'm ma and all the other sperm what do they do I mean it's so sad at least they should get like a certificate or something <laughs> <laughs> I've got me bronze <laughs> you know I went down got me brick you know I got me bronze <laughs> Or something, it's so sad. And then all these nine months go by and it grows and grows and it gets to the big day. And it's you, that's when you're going to have your child. That is amazing. Because my wife, she's a beautiful lady, but she turned into fucking Jack Nicholson from The Shining. <laughs> Ooh, she was like that. <laughs> you fucking did this to me. I thought it was a shared experience. No, you fucking did this. <laughs> 
are they? Two turn. If there's ever a third world war, they should line a load of pregnant women along the front. I'm serious. Right, all the troops will come over like that. They go, rrr, rrr. all these women go, fuck off. <laughs> The pain is amazing. Because, like, you asked, I said to my wife, the pain, how do you... Because a bloke could never go through that much pain. Have you seen a bloke with a cold? He's like that. <laughs> could you go up the shops for me, Lord? <laughs> I think I'm dying. <laughs> a bloke could never do that. Because, like, women are more emotional, do you know what I mean? Blokes are very solution-oriented. They just take, take the pain away. I want the pain away now, nurse. I want the pain, you know. They're crap. That's why, like, you've seen a man and a woman at home. A bloke is very solution-oriented and competitive-minded. A woman, pff, you know, it's like, it's like they would be there trying to get a sideboard up the stairs, like that, going... Rrr. She'd be going, do you want a hand, love? He'd go, no, let me fucking do this. Thank you. <laughs> That's why a good weightlifting team in the Olympics would be a man and a wife. Like, you'd be there, the weights would be there, right? And she'd go, do you want a hand, Bert? He'd go, no, let me fucking do this. Thank you. Right, um. <laughs> I don't know. Pain, they go through it so badly. But, uh, and, and they're good at arguments, you see. You can never beat a woman in an argument because they'll always get you. And the worst one they get you is the public argument. You've read one of these? In the supermarket, because they don't give a shit. They don't. They become your interpreter to the world. They really do. You'll be there and you'll be going, shut up. And they'll be going, no, I will not shut up. <laughs> Yes, fucking, fucking. <laughs> He's going to hit me! He's going to hit me! <laughs> Sometimes they don't even give you a chance. They'll actually answer for you. You'll just be walking towards the door and they go, Oh, where are you going? Out! And you go, Oh! <laughs> But we've got Mo, you know, and they have to be entertained all the time. Oh, she sits in a cot like Caligula. Do you know what I mean? It's like that. Do something now. <laughs> oh, kill him. <laughs> and I've got a picture. I've turned into a parent. You know, I have. I never thought. Well, you take a picture of everything. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Oh, oh, ch I've got a whole flicker pad of a whole fucking life. You go. Ch -ch 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 -ch. <laughs> And my mum, do your mum ever do this thing? Did your mum ever do this thing, right, where they... If you've got a bit of dirt on your face, they kind of lick a hanky like that, and they wipe it off. My mum used to go like that. Oh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> got a bit of dirt on your face, look, look, look. <laughs> she never, she never, she never, she never, she used to go like that. Got a bit of dirt on your face, look, look. <laughs> Like that. <laughs> All down the high street, everybody's arse, like that. <laughs> so I'm going to finish off uh, now, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, is the mic still there? Oh, is it? Fuck off. <laughs> no one there. But I'm going to finish off uh, now, ladies and gentlemen, with uh, another two hours of comedy. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to do some uh, music, because that's how I got started off. I actually started off. Uh, in a band. I started off in a band. And, uh, <laughs> and I got thrown out because I wanted to emulate pop stars. You know when they run across the stage with the guitars and they still bang out a tune? I wanted to do that. But that's why I was thrown out of the band. Because number one, I don't play the guitar. <laughs> and number two, I don't know if you've ever tried running across the stage with a large drum kit. It doesn't really... <laughs> and I hate, you ever been in a restaurant when somebody comes around like... Uh, you ever been in like, a restaurant when somebody comes around playing an instrument? You ever done that? I hate that. Do you know what I'd like to do? Go around a whole orchestra eating. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome on to the stage, for which we are delighted in introducing to you, the one and only, here tonight, yes, it's 
a real man. <laughs> so, without further delay, please sit back, relax, enjoy, and show your appreciation for... Good evening. The man uh, uh, himself... <laughs> yes! <laughs> Please welcome... <laughs> for... you... tonight... <laughs> meet... and greet... Go crazy for <laughs> Mr. On the top there. Yeah. All right. Is there, are they cheaper seats up there? Yeah. Are they? <laughs> just, it's just us, eh? <laughs> nah. You're not the cheap seats. Not the fucking cheap. Is these, so these are expensive. It's fucking getting <laughs> So um, I've um, I've um, have I? When? Really? Great. <laughs> well, what am I doing? <laughs> Yeah, so funny. What a posh shot. You could fart. I don't know. Like, look at this shit. It's huge. You fart in there, and two years later, two blokes will be cleaning them lights, and they go, You farted. <laughs> Got a strange kind of week, really. I actually, uh, I actually lost my dog uh, this week, and uh, I don't know. I put an advert uh, in the paper. Um, <laughs> Here, boy! So, uh, I went on a trolley dash as well, fucking brilliant. No, you've got one minute, right, uh, to go in a supermarket, get everything you can in the trolley, uh, and it's yours, get to keep it, you know, so... F fuck it, I had the till, I had the till. <laughs> get it in. Yeah, so great, I, I, I don't know, I forget, I'm fucking... I, forgive me if I'm uh, sort of panicky and stuff, I, I do get sort of panicky when I come on, I, I, I don't know what it is, I, I, I'm sorry about that, but uh, it's, it's good to be here, I've been sort of travelling around, I've been over to uh, Nor Norwich, anybody know where, anybody, anybody, have we got people over, all right, all right? <laughs> are you, you all right over there? Are you from Norwich? Are you? It's the quiz of the week, it's from Norwich. And that little thing that went around, that blonde little thing. You, television. Hello? <laughs> we don't get telly around our way, sir. Got <laughs> like the wicker man sat in the fifth row going, you're gonna die now, sir, you are. <laughs> oh, you hang you buggers around our way, yeah. <laughs> you know, no, Norwich, weird town. You know, oh, I don't know, they're still pointing at the moon going, we're here, we're here, we're here. <laughs> It's the moon. <laughs> You've seen it before, fucking yeah. <laughs> went there, actually went to Manchester. Anybody know, Ma anybody from, anybody, anybody in? Hello, anybody, fucking <laughs> yeah. People going, you're gonna die. That's fine. Um, yeah, I went to Manchester, and to get to Manchester, you have to drive through, like, Moss Side, right? Fucking rough place, it really, I mean, to drive through it, it's like, it don't say signs for, like, Moss Side, it says, what are you fucking looking at? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> They actually shoot people there, but they're so hard, they don't use guns, they insert bullets, like, manually. Do you know what I mean? It's like, oi, oi, oi! Boom! <laughs> Shut up, you southern bastard! <laughs> Huge people. <sighs> Where's he gone? <laughs> this always happens to me. Some bloke goes, uh, oh, well, I want to go in, but oh, I don't want to go <laughs> Is he all right? What's his name? What is it? James. James, is it? Where's he from? Essex. Is he from Essex? Is <laughs> oh, I don't give a shit. I've got to go. <laughs> I don't care. I fucking always go everywhere else. <laughs> Bollocks today, I ain't watching him. <laughs> what part of Essex is he from? <laughs> Epping, is he? Fucking <laughs> hell. <laughs> Oh, we got some more people from Epping. Oh, what did you fucking shout? <laughs> Everybody over there went, hey! Fucking 
Why? <laughs> They're on the coach on the way down going, right, if he says Epin, right, everyone? <laughs> we all go, right. <laughs> or any place, any place. If he says anything beginning with E. <laughs> that fucking Epin. <laughs> I'll tell you what, better still, right, you get up in the front row, as soon as he says Epin, we'll all go, right. <laughs> What's he doing, for fuck's sake? What's his name again? Is it James? James. We can hear you, James. He's probably on the toilet and they're going, ah! <laughs> we can smell you as well. Oh, dear. Um, well, um, well, I mean, because we'll have to go back if he fucking, you know what I mean? Can he? Because he, come on! <laughs> uh, oh, oh, fucking people like me are going, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, mate. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, empty. Yeah, I can see you walking in like that. Yeah, I feel right bitter now, all right. Like, oh, what's your skis you run around there? Yeah, yeah uh, so, um, so you'd be going back to Epping later, wouldn't you, James? <laughs> wouldn't you? Epping! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm oh, sorry, fucking sorry up there. Sorry, I didn't mean that because you can't. Can you see the, the, these people? Uh, can't you? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> hell. Unisan. Welcome to speech therapy. All together? No! <laughs> Is that right? You have to take them. <clears throat> yeah, but um, I don't know. <laughs> I went to, uh, I also went to, well, I was going to say, they, I, I actually was in Manchester when they didn't get the Olympics, which was really sad, because the whole of Manchester, I mean, they really wanted it. And as a city, it would have been fucking great, you know what I mean? It, it was a big, t like, screen in the town square, and, and this bloke came over and said, and the winner is! And the, the whole of Manchester went, <gasps> and they went, Sydney! And they went, ah, shite! <laughs> and really, what, they should have broke it in gently, they should have said, and the winner is! It hasn't got an M in it! <laughs> right, is that also? <laughs> Work it out. Say it to me, Em. Can't see a marathon going through my side anyway, can you? It's like fucking suddenly it speeds up, you know what I mean? It's like... <laughs> oh, it's all these foreigners coming out the other end with no trainers. <laughs> Where's my trainers? <laughs> Some bloke on my side going, hey, look at these lad, eh? Fucking nicked them off a jogger, you know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, I don't know. But uh, I went there, I also went to uh, Scotland. Anybody in from Scotland? Yeah. Hey. Hey. It's a good place, Scotland. So I don't know. It's like um, a very, very, very nice people. They're all fr like red cheeked and fresh faced. You know what I mean? It's the air. Hey. <laughs> they really are. So I mean, if you're from London, you go up there and you, you're sucking on exhaust pipes for air. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> cold turkey. Oh, fumes. I don't know. I actually flew. I upset all the cabin crew because it was that week when all the planes were like landing on the M1, you know. And because uh, the stewardess said, uh, "Do you want something to eat?" and I said, "No, I'll get something." We stop at the services, and she <laughs> went mad. mad. So I went up there. I went to Bournemouth, and uh, just old people, really. Just really. P I mean, you know, big giveaway. Ramps everywhere. You know what I mean? <laughs> don't say science for like Bournemouth. This is. All the shop windows in Bournemouth are bifocal. You know what I'm saying? This is the <laughs> kind of place it is. <laughs> but so I had to go on the amusements as well. I don't know if you've ever, if you've ever done this, right? I had to go on the crane machine, right? And it's like you never get anything out, never fucking get anything out. You know what I mean? Always drops it. I saw one of those being delivered once and they just got off the van, nearly got it, but it dropped it, dropped it. <laughs> Down there. But uh, traveling around in this car, I got this car and it's crap. It's, like, it's actually a death trap. I actually found out it's two different cars welded down the middle. You know what I mean? I actually drive the top one, so it's fine. No problems. <laughs> Went to a driving McDonald's the other day. You ever done, have you ever been through one of those, like trying to get your car around the fucking tables in there? It's amazing. <laughs> been over to uh, North Wales, well, Rill. Anybody, in, uh, anybody, anybody Welsh in? 
I've got some uh, relatives up there. I ain't seen them for years. You know, my, mum, my mum and dad, I was thrown out. I was 16. My dad said, fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. You're treating this house like a bloody hotel. Now leave. But leave your key at reception when you got bit. <laughs> We actually lived in a one-room bedsit and he used to say things like, Go to your room! He goes, <laughs> <laughs> Done some great things when he was a kid. He actually erected a swing around the back of a house, <laughs> up against the wall. <laughs> Good stuff. Saw my brother. My brother's a bus conductor. Fucking hilarious. He'd come in and visit us and he'd hang on all the furniture. He'd go, whoa. whoa. No, <laughs> Sorry. I've, uh, I don't know, Shit, I, I get so scared when I, I come on stage. I, I don't know, it's like you, you panic. Do you know when you panic? It's like, um, it's like this thing where you, 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 you're trying to get your key in the door when the phone's ringing. You ever, it's like that kind of panic. Do you know what I mean? It's like, it's an easy thing, get the key in the slot. But, you know, it's like when the phone's ringing, it's like, uh, phone, 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 phone. All of a sudden, the lock starts moving around. You just... <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's like your brain lets you down. As soon as you give it that thing, it lets you down. It's like, um, it's like uh, if you, this thing, if you come out of your house and you think, where's my, where's my car keys? You lose your car keys and you think, where are, where, where the fuck are they? And you go to a place, you think you put them. So you go, oh, they're on the, um, they're on the, um, they're not there. They're not there. <laughs> That's where I put that. And you yours go, you search, you search, you search, but you keep going back to the same place knowing they're not fucking there. Do you know what I mean? Just to check. Let me just, because I think that's where they fucking are. They're, they're not there. They're not, that's where they fucking are there. That's where they were. Someone will always say to you, someone will always say, uh, try and think back to where you were when you lost them. <laughs> if I knew that, I'd go, go, go. So you go to the supermarket, easy thing. You want to know where the cornflakes are. So you go over to the till and you say, uh, excuse me, <laughs> tell me where the cornflakes are, please. And they say, yeah, just down there on the right. Between the till and the cornflakes, it's gone. It's gone. It's like, uh, 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 uh. They're on the till going, no, no, just, 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 just fucking right under your fucking, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'll go and see my nan, and I don't know what it is. She'll go through the complete family tree before she gets to my name. I don't know if it's because she's getting old or what. I don't know what it is, but I'll say, all right, nan. She'll go, hello, John, Dad, Dave, Malcolm, Paul, John. It's like the, the brain's in there ticking them off, going, Dave, ain't Dave, Malcolm, ain't, who the fuck's he? He's not on the list, who's it? I actually got ran over once because of my nan. I, I ran out of the road. There was a car coming. She went, John, Dave! <laughs> Things. Uh, it's like you, it's like this thing, it's this thing, if you, if you live in the same house for 20 years, right, you go up and down the stairs every day, you know how many stairs are in your house, but you'll turn all the lights off to go to bed, right, and you'll get to the top stair and somebody's fucking taking it away. You get to the top stair and go, oh, hey, where did that go? And on the way down, somebody's like added one. You go there and you go, ah, oh. doesn't happen to me now because I built an extra stair, so. But, uh, I don't know, it's like this thing when people say to you, people say to you, um, if you're in a crowded room, they say, uh, they get up and they say, I'm just going to the toilet. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just going to the toilet. What the fucking hell do we want to know for? <laughs> just go. Just put, uh, uh, all right, all right, that's what I just say. But then again, if they didn't tell you where they were going, you'd wonder where they fucking were. <laughs> Miss John. Is he in the toilet or...? It's like John in the toilet going, oh, I didn't tell him where I was going. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I don't know. But uh, I am so warm. I don't know. But uh, I don't know, little things like that get to me. I don't know. Is anybody else warm, by the way? Nobody else warm? <sighs> Are you, is that where you're going? Seriously? All right, then. We'll wait for you as well. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but, uh, <laughs> but, um, what's his name? <laughs> Is he from Epping as well? He's not. Where's he from? You don't know him? Oh, he's on his own. Oh, he's on his own. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I won't, uh, he's, uh, just the one ticket, please. <laughs> Excuse
excuse me, is anybody sat there? <laughs> uh, no, you can sit there if you want. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. I'll have to go in a minute, I'm on my own. There's one bloke fan. Is it hot up there? Is it warm up there? Is it? Are you warm? Oh, all right. Sorry. <sighs> <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, there's nothing I can fucking do. I don't fucking own the place. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, I was going to say is... Uh, I don't, I was, actually, do you ever do that? It's like the further away somebody is, the quieter you talk. Why, the, why do you do that? It's like when someone's up close, you go, I'm going out of shops. But they go across the street. You, I don't know. It's like, I, 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 I'm going out of the shop. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like, I'm going out of the shop. <laughs> What do you th <laughs> All right? Okay. <sighs> All right. What? I never said anything. No, seriously. <laughs> He's gone. I never. No. Uh, yeah, so, uh, I don't know. It's like if you see somebody across the road, this is where your brain lets you down. You see somebody across the road you think you know, right? And you go, that's fucking John. That's John. That's jo John. John! 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 <laughs> and it's not them. And you go, John! You believe them. If somebody goes, yeah! and you go, yeah, yeah! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! This happened to me the other day. I thought, I know that bloke. I, thought, I know him. I went running across the road. Yeah! It was my reflection in a shop window. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, I don't know, little things like that. If you go to an overnight garage, this is the thing. You go to an overnight garage, right, and you ask for something. Ask for anything, right? And uh, you talk to the bloke behind the glass and you say, a packet of cheese and 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 a packet of cheese Chris, all right, all right. <laughs> what flavour? <laughs> flavour. Cheese and onion, cheese and onion, cheese and onion, cheese and onion, cheese and onion. We can a drink. Fuck, I've just been over there. <laughs> Let us in. Let us in. <laughs> does wind me up. That really does. It's like, uh, you've got a menswear shop now. It seems these days, like, uh, the more something is worn in, the more it costs. You get a normal pair of jeans and two quid, right? And you get, like, some with piss stains and crap. Or a... <laughs> 200 quid there, mate. <laughs> Stonewashed, shit in, pissed in a grate. <laughs> yeah, you've been way ahead with people with them on. But they stink. <laughs> yeah, but you're miles ahead, mate. I'll tell you, you'll be setting a trend with them. Oh, uh, yeah, thanks, mate, thanks. That's great, yeah. <clears throat> I don't know, what, I don't know. Maybe next, just a piece of string and a belt. If you get a belt with it, it's just a fucking piece of thread. <laughs> I don't know, I made that last bit up. I should have left it out, shouldn't I? <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, anyway, um, yeah. I don't know, it's like menswear shops. I don't like the cubicles. I don't like cubicles in menswear shops anyway. I don't know. It's like, it's like if you go swimming, you ever do that? You go swimming and the worst thing is the floor's wet and you're trying to change in a cubicle. I don't know, the main thing is you got, what you've got to do, right, is you've got to kind of dry one foot, put your shoe on, stand on the floor. Do the same with the other foot, stand on the floor. Then you can't put your trousers on because they're going to drag in the wet. So you're standing on the bench and they're still dragging in the wet. The thing, right, you get your pants and you get them because your legs are still wet. Your pants are in some kind of, I don't know, knot, reef knot or something. <laughs> Some scout's been in on Bubba Job Week, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Whacked a reefy in there and shoved off. And the water in the ears. <laughs> the people are talking to you like... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. so, well, I should keep fit, really. I tried. I bought, like, a rowing machine. Oh, brilliant. It's like second hand. It had no orbits on it, so I just sat there and drifted for a couple of days. <laughs> All this stuff though. Have you seen this uh, step Reebok? Have you seen this? S steps? They're selling us steps now. We got loads. Look, there's loads up there. We got steps in the road and they're selling us plastic ones, right? Bring the stereo out to your front door. You got a step there. Do it on there, right? Maybe just have like a ramp for old people. You know what I mean? Just uh, oh, yeah. Have you noticed over the years it's getting like less and less as well? It's like years ago it was like the bike and then it was like the rowing machine and now it's like a step. I don't know what's next. Getting in and out of bed. You know what I mean? <laughs> Obviously, it's uh, warm because, like, uh, 
Uh, summer is here. Summer, summer is here. We don't even know what the sun looks like in this country, do we? As soon as the sun goes out and Britain people go, ah! <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Straight away, it's the sun! Burn me! Burn me! <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. <laughs> so five hours after they're going, I'm burning. <laughs> don't touch me. <sighs> actually lay out in the sun as well. Scientists say, don't lay out in the sun. The ozone layer is breaking down. If it breaks down completely, the earth will be awash of radiation for years and years and years. Sad. But I think like uh, advertising a change, didn't you? Like radiation. So, take two bottles to the shower. <laughs> Not me. I've, oh, I've got no air. I've got no air. Where's my air? <laughs> trying to cool down as well. I've got my air cut. Got me, I look a pleb, don't I, right? <laughs> I've got my hair cut and, uh, I don't know. It's like you go to men's uh, hairdressers, forgive me for this, uh, ladies, right? You go to a gentleman's hairdressers and what they do when they, they stand behind you, when they cut your hair, uh, they do this amazing thing. They go like one snip, there goes the hair, and they do like four in the air. They go, and you think, it's, there goes the hair, nothing, nothing. It's like four, I don't know, it's like he's wasting fucking energy there or something. <laughs> Why the profession would do that? You know, you wouldn't get a road digger in the road going, oh, yeah. <laughs> the back of your head. They go, is the back all right? And you go, um, I, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't. This is the way you face. This way. <laughs> you don't walk around going, all right, how you doing? Yep. <laughs> so when I paid him, I showed him the back of the money. I said, is that all right for you? Is that all right? <laughs> Towel, I, I really am. I get so warm, I can't help it. Look at this jacket and everything. Look, fucking ruined. Two quid, that. <laughs> no, I actually, uh, I actually, um, I, fuck, I don't know. I, 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 it's a bit of a posh suit, though, isn't it? I don't normally wear this shit. But, you know, it's all right, isn't it? Fucking hell. You pay to get in and out, might as well look me fucking best. <laughs> fucking try. <laughs> See, you fucking turned up all right. <laughs> what? It's just a laugh? No. All right, carry on. All right, all right. These <laughs> people going, uh, we paid money. Fucking get on with it, all right? <laughs> all right? Just fuck the suit and get on with the act, all right? <laughs> Fine. Um, right. So I'll carry on then. Right, yeah, so, uh, I don't know. I, I was, I was going to say, I think that's why we're so bad at, at sport in general. I really do, because, like, the extremes of weather we get here. Like, in the summer, it's too warm. In the winter, it's too cold. We can't cope. And I think that's why we can't compete in the Winter Olympics with the Continentals. They, because they live in the mountains. They ski down the corner shop for fags. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> they can live there. What happens when it snows here? Everything stops. Everything comes to a standstill. It's like Winter Olympics. The Continentals out there by the gate. It's like, four, three, two, one. <laughs> I need some fags. <laughs> It's like when the British guy's up there, it's like, four, three, two, one. <laughs> I'll put some grit down. I'll dig a path. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I watched the Summer Olympics. sent back three of their guys for taking anabolic steroids. Yep, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I reckon they should just... Let's have the anabolic games, huh? That'd be good. Everybody knows everybody's taking it, so let's just do it. It'd be great. It'd be like a syringe relay. It'd be like... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It'd be great. But uh, everyone's talking about football. I, I don't know, air team even in there. Fucking you know, England. <laughs> Crap. We lost against America. We, you know we should have sent out to America to play them? Those cows out of the Anger Butter advert. Because they're fucking brilliant. <laughs> yeah. That would have been good when a lot of cows come. And I'm going, Anger Butter. It's like uh, Nigel Mansell, everybody says, all right, he's one of their boys, all right, he's one of their boys, yeah! But he was using all foreign stuff when he was, he was like using a French car, foreign mechanics, but what if he was using British stuff? Totally different story. He would drive into the pits and go, I think something's wrong with the carb. Ooh, cost ya. <laughs> you know, Thursday, is that all right for you? <laughs> And I watched Wimbledon as well. No stalkers this year. Fucking great. Fucking hell, yeah. 
Monica Seles, I'm stabbed in the back. They've got this thing. They do this thing, right? Every time some nut comes out, every time some nut, they go and interview their neighbours. It's happened with uh, like loads of these nuts that come into the paper. They go and interview their neighbours, right? The press. And they always do this thing, right? Where they interview their neighbours and their neighbours say, he was such a lovely bloke. <laughs> he never said boo to a goose. He was such a lovely man. We didn't know he'd do anything like this. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if they said like, what, what, what? Stalker Harris. He <laughs> was mad, that bloke. All his friends with guns, he was out with knives, he was mad. I'm surprised you just got here, mate, I really am. <laughs> Carry on. They're actually televising chess now. Fucking nothing happens. <laughs> nothing happens. It's like two blokes sat there going, like, uh, looking at a clock, and you're watching nothing happen, time-wise. <laughs> You know, I'm fiddling with the, the brightness and the volume to make something happen. Do you know what I mean? Come on! Come on! <laughs> Every time somebody does a great move, they slow it down, give you an action replay. <laughs> if it goes any slower, it will fucking go back in time. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, this? I also watched, uh, I watched uh, <laughs> One Man and His Dog. I watched this the other day and I think, well, what an easy job that is. What an easy job for the dog. Because sheep generally follow each other anyway. They do. Sheep go, Where are you going? <laughs> uh, we're going to Japan. <laughs> uh, so I'll come with you then. <laughs> There's a dog going, look, in the pen. Look, he's whistling. Come on, in the fucking pen, in the pen. We're, go we're going anyway. <laughs> we're going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think a real sport, if the dog had to round up a pride of lions, now that's a real sport, you know what I'm saying? Oh, excuse me, any chance of going, fuck off. <laughs> In your own time, if, when you're ready, you know, I'm easy. That's a real sport. Boxing, I, I watch a uh, bit of boxing and stuff. I, I like a bit of boxing, that's a bit bad news, but I do, I, I don't know, it's like, boxers get me as well. Like, every time there's a big fight coming up, Chris Eubank or something, they always do this amazing thing. They come on the TV, the challenger will come on the TV and they go, I'm gonna be number one! I'm gonna put you to a pulp, yes sir, but I'm gonna fuck him up. Yes sir, but... And they go in the ring, get their head weaved into the canvas, you know what I mean? It's so embarrassing. Why don't they just be honest before a fight? It saves the embarrassment after. Why don't they just come on the TV and go, oh, yeah, he's, uh, He's big, isn't he? <laughs> Look, I'll have a go, but please don't rely on me, will you? <laughs> and they do this amazing thing. All boxers, when they come out for a fight, they have, like, uh, entrance music. It's like Eye of the Tiger or something. It's like, da, 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 da. You know. Do you know what this is for? That is to intimidate your opponent. That is to frighten the other guy. Bullshit. They should have a bloke run out of the changing rooms, right, with stab wounds going, that bloke in there is a nutter! <laughs> Surrounded by minders and bouncers, if you're so hard, make your own fucking way up there. Go on. <laughs> I try and catch up with the news as well. It's like, uh, it's like these peace protesters, good thing, got into Buckingham Palace, right? They nipped over the wall. Uh, I don't know, they were fined £16, right? And Buckingham Palace have just had £1.5 million pounds off a of security fitted and they nipped over the wall. <laughs> I don't know, they could have cut the cost down because do you remember when you was a kid uh, and you used to get into that old bloke's garden, do a bit of scrumping, and that old bloke used to come and go, hey, get out of my bloody garden, go on, piss off. <laughs> they should have had him. <laughs> he was brilliant, that bloke, wasn't he? Always got you, he'd be great. A load of terrorists running across Buckingham Palace lawns going, oi, 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 you come out and go, oi, oi, I know your mum and dad, down your own end, go on, piss off. <laughs> It's like juvenile crime as well is on the increase and it's getting worse and criminals are getting younger and younger. And if it goes on like this, maybe one day a sperm will walk into a bank and go, give me your fucking give me it. Come on. <laughs> maybe a bloke will be walking down the street and his balls will start breaking into a car, you know? <laughs> Uh, our discipline, I think, is the thing. It's like, it's like, it's like any time we've done something wrong, my dad used to hit us with the belt, you know what I mean? He always forgot to take it off, but he hit us with, a, <laughs> hit us with his hip, you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean <laughs> Big question in life, really. If you were actually walking down the street, you saw somebody getting mugged, would you go over and help them out? And I think you should. Do you know what I mean? I really do. I think as long as you get your share. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I used to have all these imaginary friends when I was a kid. I don't know if you ever had this. I used to go out in the street and play with them and everything. Just, uh, they were real kids, but I just imagined it on my friends, you know? <laughs> it's 
sad but true. But uh, she's like now, really. Um, no, I, uh, <coughs> no, I, I, I don't know. I, uh, watch her. I, all, all news is bad news. If you watch the news, it's bad. You know what I mean? There's someone dying, there's some fucking unemployment. But then again, it has to be bad to make the news. It's no good having good news because that is not news. It's no good having an interruption in the middle of Coronation Street. So, <laughs> here's an important news flash. Everything's great, everything's. <laughs> Not the same, you know what I mean? It's like, uh, oh, watch uh, some of the adverts as well, TV. It's like, uh, I, I, they give us like, the advertising executives give us like dancing raisins, talking washing machines, and guys come over the pub on a surfboard, right? And the next ad is like, don't take drugs, okay? <laughs> You've got to have a spliff to watch them, you know? <laughs> oh, dancing raisins, yeah. So like natural plus, I bought some of this, I sprayed it under my arm. Bark came out, it was weird. I started to merge into the background. Where's he going? I'm, I'm over here, I'm over here. Some of the programs I watch, uh, what did I see? The, uh, uh, Beauty and the Beast, uh, right? This is a program that got taken off. This fucking, this was mad. This was for kids. And this is what I didn't get, right? Each week we saw it, right? It, what it was, it was about some bloke living in the sewer. He was 50% man, 50% lassie, lassie, right? <laughs> and this is what I didn't get. Each week we saw it, his father was normal. Now. What does he say to you? <laughs> I don't know. I'll tell you what he says to me. He's been having to go at Scooby-Doo somewhere. <laughs> Murder, she wrote. You ever see this? Fucking hell. Murder, she's never done a day's work in her life. Murder, she's never fucking written, picked up a pen or nothing in her life. I'll tell you right, murder, all she is is a murder, a little old woman with a blue rinse sticking her fucking murder, she wrote nose in. <laughs> what are you doing over there? Uh, here comes nosy old Fletch from bed knobs and broomsticks. What are you doing? <laughs> Every single week it's the same thing. Everybody's gathered in a room and she goes, he was the one, he did it. And the bloke would go, oh, how did she do that? She got me. I don't know how she did that. <laughs> do you remember, right, when you was a kid, right, and, and old granny said to you, you're the one, you did it. What would you do? After us. Come on. Can you, I'll, give you, I'll give you a hand. Come on, come on. <laughs> oh, I watch, uh, I watch that and uh, Beverly Hills 90210. I watch that as well. That's oh dear. I don't know. This is uh, social realism. This is what I'm interested in, right? And you don't get this in this program. It's like a, a lot of American students, right? Now you tell me if students are like this. These, these students in America, they get out of bed, they go, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Brilliant makeup job, pure white teeth are hanging everywhere, hair brushed back, and this girl wake up by his side and <laughs> morning, Doug. She looks brilliant as well. Makeup job, teeth, hair. She turns to him and says, Doug, I love you. Kiss me, Doug. And they kiss. <laughs> Do you know anybody that wakes out of bed like that in the morning? <laughs> yeah, it's like when you get out of bed in the morning, it's like <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is this us? slept with wakes up like, mm, like a bag of chips. Yeah. And they turn to you and say, kiss me! And you say, uh, no, no. Because <laughs> you both smell. Nobody can talk to anybody. You smell like the back end of a dog. <laughs> you do. Uh, uh. It's like, I don't know, why do you smell? You know, because really, where have you been? You haven't eaten nothing, nothing's gone in, you've been in bed. <laughs> I got a theory. I got a theory. I reckon somebody comes along in the middle of the night, you don't know, you're asleep. They come along, come along, dump in your mouth, and then shove off. <laughs> what? It's like one bloke for each street with a key. <laughs> and I know these things because I, uh, I got married. I got married and stuff. Yeah, I fucking did. <laughs> People are going, surely, I did, I did. I got married, I got a little baby and stuff now, a little mo. Little baby, like, fucking amazing. Anybody got a baby here? Singles night, is this singles night? <laughs> Devil Worshippers Club? We, we'll kill the comedian later, sir. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, we've all come on the same coat, sir. Yeah, and uh, we, we kill you later, is that right? <laughs> no, we don't have children, sir. The wicker man, that's me, sir. Wicker man. <laughs> You know, 
now. Be in the doctors tomorrow and go, I see you're going to get the Majesty's last night disturbance. Yeah. <laughs> little mouth. It's great having a little baby like that. Everything, because it's just a machine at the moment. You just feed it and it goes. <laughs> that's all it does. It's just like a Play Doh machine. You know, feed it, you know. <laughs> just, uh, you don't get any shapes with it, though. <laughs> it just takes its own kind of shape. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> but it's amazing. Everything that comes out of it, it's like. <gasps> Uh, it's great. I, I got married and so I don't know. It actually took me a while to get to get anybody really. I'm fucking sad, man. I don't know what to say. If you see a girl, you think, what do I say? What do I do? You, know, you get these guys called Craig and they go, hey, my name's Craig. How you doing? You know, and, and girls go, eh, excitement. And they go, for me, around about like here, my brain seizes up. I see a girl and I think, right, my name's Lee. Uh, right, my name's Lee. Do you want a drink? Right, my, my name's Lee. Do you want a drink? Do you want to dance? Do you want to dance? Right, okay. Right, my name's Lee. Do you want a drink? Do you want to dance? Right. Uh, uh, you... <laughs> I think I've sussed it out though, I really do, because it's like, uh, why don't we're part of the animal kingdom, why don't we just do what they do and have a mating call? Yeah, you walk into a place like this or a disco, you see a girl cross the way there and you go, ah, ah, ah! She'll be there going, <laughs> and you just be in. Does anybody want to try that now? Anybody? <laughs> Epping? <laughs> Norwich? We do that round our way anyway, sir. Now, I, right, I know I'm taking the mickey right, but I don't mean any harm by that. No, I find out, it's not fair, is it, like? You know, like you talk, they don't all talk like that, do they? <laughs> they don't, though, do they? I'm waiting for you to talk back. <laughs> and, and you won't talk, will you? Like, you, all right, all right, I'll carry on. <laughs> but, uh... She's got a big safe out. <laughs> don't you fucking have a go at us, right? <laughs> We'll have you bloody hung up and round our town in fucking no time. <laughs> we'll have you down the fucking devil worshippers club, you. <laughs> Straight away. Easy, easy, easy. But, um, we, 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 we plough the fields and scatter. <laughs> I think that's farm talk, innit? I think, meh. What, I'm, what? I ne right, okay, I'll carry on, I'll carry on. Uh, well, I've got another two hours, so... <laughs> yeah, there's people going, oh, really? Oh! <laughs> oh, no. And there's Epping going, oh, I've got to go in a minute again. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, James, sorry, mate. Uh, right, uh, yeah, what was I? I was going to say, oh, yeah, I, I was going to say, like, uh, mating calls. Well, I mentioned discos. Never try and pick up anybody in a disco, right? Because uh, blokes always say, I can never get a go on a disco. Well, you look mad. You look like you've just escaped from somewhere. You do. You've got, like, flashing lights, loud music. You see a girl, right? You go... He's a mental, he's a mental, he's a mental. <laughs> he's mad. Best type of dance is really if you, uh, if you go to a wedding. <laughs> Best, uh, best place to go, if you want to watch some dancing, right, the funniest thing is uh, if th there's always these people in the middle of the floor, right, uh, the 40-year-olds, right? I don't mean any harm by this, but you get to 40 and all your body loses its coordination. <laughs> you see them in the middle of the floor going like that. Oh, yes. I can still do this, sonny boy. Oh, yes. <laughs> Look and learn. Why does it always turn out to be your fucking dad? Why? <laughs> Look and learn, son. All your mates are going, that's your mate. Is that your mum and dad, Lee? Uh, yeah, give me the, give me the gun. Give me the, give me the gun. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> uh, arguing. Women are fantastic, fantastic at arguing. Do you know what I mean? They've they got this, because women get you psychologically. Do you know what I mean? They do this thing. You ever do this thing, actually, if you have an argument and you kind of storm out and you go, Yeah, that you fucking know <laughs> And you forget something and you go, Shit. <laughs> This thing as well. If you go out, if you go, yeah, that's it, and you go out of the room and they go, I'm gonna fucking do it anyway. <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> Nothing. Come on, you fucking 
sit on there, what? <laughs> Every time you go, I don't know what I can do. <laughs> And you'll always hear it. From long distances, you'll hear it. You'll be in Birmingham, right? You'll have an argument, you go all the way to Birmingham, they go, I'm fucking dying. What did you say? The thing is, oh, the worst thing a girl can say to you is, uh, come and meet my parents, right? Because it's not really you. It's not really the bloke. Because you go around and visit them, right? And you put an act on. It's like, uh, hello. <laughs> Piece of cake? Yes, please. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> and they do this thing. Parents, if you get really close to them, right, they do this thing where they just want to get you in the church and get you out again. Suit it up, wedding. That's all they do. Because the thing is, all they want to be is grandparents. And they get agitated at the fact. It's like you go around and visit them and it's like, oh, come here, come here. Uh, nice to see you. Nice, give me a dick, give me a dick. <laughs> give me a fanny. Come on, kids. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, but uh, thank you very much indeed uh, for coming to uh, uh, Majesty's Theatre, ladies and gentlemen, and thanks uh, for coming and, and paying your money and stuff. I, I don't want to sound shit. I'm sorry about that, right? <laughs> Fucking, I don't want to sound old Shelby shite. <laughs> but uh, I don't, but thank you very much indeed for coming. Uh, it's a big event for me, uh, you know, uh, really, to play here, you know. So uh, thank you very much indeed for coming. You are very nice people. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, Doctor. Hello. Bend your knees. No, the other way. <laughs> well, I've just shit me pants. I've, uh, <laughs> I, hi, I've got snow on the head up there. Like, hit, hit, bray. <laughs> Fucking hell, I'm all out of breath. I've got no bray hours, yeah. <laughs> People are going, fuck it, I Fuck that. <laughs> Took me four hours to get them stairs at my house today. <laughs> I live in a bungalow, you see, it's a problem. <laughs> Fine. I don't know, sorry if I'm a bit nervous. I, I bought a, relaxing, re re a relaxation tape the other day and uh, Sound of the Ocean Waves. There was nothing on it. So I took it back to the shop, right? And the bloke said, well, the tide's out, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'm on, uh, I'm on alternative medicine at the moment. It's really good, I take one in the morning and I take one round about fucking now. <laughs> oh. And uh, I do bite my nails, I bite my nails and it's killing me teeth, you know. I should take my shoes off really, but fuck it, you know. I, mean, I learned to tie my shoelaces this morning, uh, which is amazing because I was wearing fucking slip-ons. <laughs> I don't know, nice place where I'm staying. I, I had to go in a jacuzzi last night, fantastic. You take all the water and I just float on the air like that. Fantastic. Bloke knocked on my door this morning, went like, fax for you, Mr. Evans. I said, what did it say? He went like, <laughs> I understood it, I understood it. But uh, <laughs> I ran the shopping channel and uh, they said, how can I help you? I said, no, I'm just looking, thanks. <laughs> so uh, I rang a wrong number yesterday, uh, but it was engaged anyway, so fuck it, it doesn't matter, does it? Uh, <laughs> I rang my next door neighbour because I hate my next door neighbour. He's always making noise, banging, banging. I cannot hardly hear myself drilling some nights, but. <laughs> I rang him, I rang him, and I asked the operator to reverse the charges. Do you know what I mean? But go around the world the other fucking way. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, strange when you're on the telephone, isn't it? You kind of, I don't know, like on the goodbye bit, your head gets closer and closer to the phone. You go, ah, bye, yeah, bye, bye, bye. I gotta go. I'm gonna smash my head on the fucking phone. <laughs> you know. You don't pick the phone up and go like that, do you? Hello, 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 yes, yes, yes. You're out of control. I don't know, it's like when you, when you yawn, you lose control of your body. When you yawn, you go... <laughs> 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 
Sneezing is the one. Sneezing, because anything ain't around in your brain, it'll just push out. Anything. You go like, ah, ah, fuck up at four o'clock. <laughs> yawning is an amazing thing, because it's so contagious. You know when somebody yawns at you, you, you have to yawn back. It's really weird. You know if we all stood face to face, it'd be a Mexican yawn all around the world. You know that? <laughs> at the end, there'd be no, no oxygen. At the end, be no oxygen left. Everyone would go, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> when did the Mexican wave yawn? I don't know, where did the Mexican wave start? Somebody just got up to go to the toilet, everyone went, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I don't know, you ever do the, like, the suppressed yawn? You ever do that one? You know when somebody's talking to you and they're so boring? You know, you, see, you can just see their lips going, mm-hmm. <laughs> And you do that suppressed yawn, you hold it all back, you go, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's interesting, isn't it? No, tunes. Tunes are addictive as well. Somebody only has to do this to you. And that's it. Your brain will reach out, grab it, put it in your brain and play it over and over and over and over. So four years later, four years later, you're in a lunatic asylum in a padded cell. They open the shut, you're in the corner going... It's like... Uh, <laughs> No, it's like swearing. I swear I shouldn't swear. I'm sorry, I shouldn't swear. It's like, uh, but you don't realise. You know, if somebody threatens you, you go, oh, fuck off. Right? <laughs> but you, you can't help it. It's like a, 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 I don't know, it's like a shortcut. Or you don't really know what it means. What you should say is like, go in another direct, direction and take your anguish out on somebody else, okay? <laughs> you know I mean? don't really know what you're saying. I should be more creative, more imaginative with my language, but fuck it. <laughs> you know, no, <laughs> without even realising what we're saying. Do you know what I mean? It's like, fuck off, like that. You go, uh, uh. <laughs> I mean, go fuck yourself up the arse. Right, 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 right. <laughs> no, I can, do, I can do this. Right, right, right. <laughs> I mean, out of control. I don't know, it's like, uh, it's, like one, it's like when you run, you're far. <laughs> no, if you run, you run, you fart, you go like that. <laughs> <laughs> what if they do that in the marathon? You've seen the people, the, like, the people behind them with their faces. Like, that's where they like it. It's like, you <laughs> uh, lose control. I don't know. It's like, it's like when you get drunk. You know, when you get drunk, there's the there's the point of no return when your body loses complete control. Do you know what I mean? You go, uh, 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 uh. you kind of hang in there like this. You. Uh, 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 uh. He won't leave you alone. They go, help him up, help him up. He go, no, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Look, just leave me here, please. I'll be all right, just leave me here. It's when the hand comes up, that's when you're going to be all, you go, ah, 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 ah. it's going to blow! <laughs> I, I, I turn it to James Stewart, suddenly, it's like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> oh, I'll never do this again. No. You know when you do come up from there, you got sick all down there, you turn to your wife and you go, I love you! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love you! Uh. Do you love me? Mmm, <laughs> kind of. Breathalyzer for drinking driving, that's crap. You should have the 5p test. You have to get five pence out of your pocket if that's spilling change all over the floor. <laughs> Here they go, go on, there they go. There they are, there they are. There they are. God, dear. Oh. I don't know, it's like when you walk in when you're drunk. Oh, I hate that. You know when you walk in you're drunk, you're... Because uh, 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 uh. I walk like that down a train. You ever walk down a train, it's like, ah, it's like, ah, oh, okay. But that's me, in a station. <laughs> that's why it's difficult to go to a toilet on a train, especially for a man. For a man to go to a toilet on a train, they kind of go in like that, it's like... <laughs> they should be able to walk in in one big fucking pan, you know? <laughs> so I don't get on with public toilets at all. You ever go to, you know when you go to a public toilet, you get in one of those cubicles? You ever look under the partition like that, right? And I don't always do it. I don't always. <laughs> you know what I mean? You look under the partition like that, see somebody's feet facing the other way. You go, what's he doing? What is he doing under there? <laughs> and they come out and their feet actually face that way. <laughs> and the push taps. Oh, push taps. Oh, 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 oh. They end up sat on it like that. <laughs> Is this a blue day? 
<laughs> I don't know. Those hand dryers are crap. They are. You've got your hands under the hand dryer for two seconds. You go, oh, uh, our problem. <laughs> Like, uh, God, it was warm. <laughs> People in the front row are going, fucking get off, get off you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> but, uh, should have went. <laughs> I've loads of time, I should have went, do you know what I mean? But, uh, I don't know, I was like, uh, God, I got out of bed this morning. Oh, you know you get out of bed. What's the first thing you do? You look in the mirror, you get out of bed, you go like, oh, eh, 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 eh. <laughs> You choose that time of the day when you look like a bag of shit to look in the mirror. You kind of, like, oh, eh, 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 eh. <laughs> coffee, coffee, fat, fat, toast, fat. Mm. <laughs> You know, I, I, is, is it me or the more you look in the mirror, the uglier you get? <laughs> Fuck it, it's me. <laughs> you ever get out of bed in the morning, you look in the mirror and you've got that kind of crease down your face, you've been led funny. <laughs> I've been slashed! Because <laughs> it takes for about one o'clock for it to go away. People are going, fucking, you've been in a fight, mate. No, I was, I was led funny, I was led funny, you know. Because I hate the sun of myself. I mean, look at me. Oh, dear. You know the wobbly mirrors at the fair? When I look in them, I look fucking normal. You know what I mean? <laughs> hate the sun of myself. It's like, I went to a wedding a little while ago and they videoed, they videoed it. Do you know what I mean? And on the day, you look great. Yes, Mark. Yes, smash all the handles. Yes, sir, Bob. <laughs> as soon as you look at the video back, you're like... <laughs> Good job. Uh, it's like, uh, I hate people with video cameras. You know what I mean? They kind of go like, uh, uh, smile, oh, you can move, you can move. Oh. Oh. <laughs> actually tell you what's happening. They speak into the mic. They go, oh, hello, there's Nan. We go through to the living room. And look, we're out in the garden. There's Mum, there's Dad. And then they sit next to you and tell you as well. They go, look, there's your living room. There's Nan. Yeah, all right, I can fucking hear it, can't I? <laughs> I've got fucking surround sound here. <laughs> There's any telling you? You've already fucking told me. <laughs> oh. I couldn't afford a video when I got married. I had a family brass rub and it was hilarious. <laughs> Just like everyone went, hey, I look, there's you, look, there's Dad, look. Uh, but, uh, got multiple flash cameras now, multiple flash cameras. People go, ah, smile, and the flash goes, you don't know when it smiles. It's for red eye, that's what it's for, red eye, you know? You ever see like a family group shop? There's your whole family, like, and your nan's in the middle and she's the only one with red eye, like I knew she was the devil. I knew she was the devil. <laughs> God, dear. <laughs> but uh, I don't know, I, I sort of, uh, I, I, I do like sport. It's like, uh, I want to be the first person to swim the Channel Tunnel. That's what I want to do. <laughs> yeah, kind of get wired up, all that large stuff, step on a train and go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know, it's like, uh, I don't know, so I've been watching the Olympics. I've been watching the Olympics, right? <laughs> but, uh, I'm sorry if I'm sort of splashing. I'm sorry, sorry, sir, sorry. Thanks. But, uh, he's like, ah, it's all right, I don't fucking worry But, uh, I don't know, but I've been watching the Olympics. I think the funniest one is the hammer throw. It's hilarious, the hammer throw. I go like this, you go, I don't think they should get points on how far they can throw that hammer. It's whether they can stay in the circle or not. That's what I think. You go, ah, go, go, Stay, stay, I can't, I can't, I can't, oh, God. <laughs> and it's not a hammer. It's not a hammer, is it? It's a ball on the chain. Somebody ought to tell him, because I don't see him at home trying to bang nails in with that one. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Even his missus like that. Go on, Bert, I'll hold the nail. There you go, Bert. Got you, love. Here we come, ready? Oh, here we go. Fucking, <laughs> <laughs> okay, what you do that for, you twat? Me hammer, isn't it? <laughs> uh. <laughs> I've been watching the runners and all that as well. Oh wow, it's fantastic. I don't know, they always go anti-clockwise. All runners, as soon as the gun goes off, they go anti-clockwise. Why? Who made that rule up? Do you know what I do? I go the other way. I would, as soon as the gun goes off, I go the other way. Freak them out halfway round, go like that. Morning. <laughs> They always do a lap of honour as well, didn't they, athletes? Do you know what I'd say? As soon as the bloke got back from the marathon, I'd go, we've got to go do a lap of honour now. He'd go... Oh, I've just done fucking 25 miles. I've run! And they always practice. 
practice, don't they? You know, before they race, they kind of get on the blocks like that and they go, oh. <laughs> What's the matter? You forgot how to fucking do it? What's happened? <laughs> what happened in all that travelling and all that? You forgot? No, 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 it's just from practicing. <laughs> get out of like a book with diagrams in it soon and go, that leg there, that leg. That... <laughs> Does that about the job? You won't get like a plumber come around your house and go like that. Right, just uh, practice on the pipes. I'll be with you in a minute. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. It's like uh, Damien Hill. I wonder if Damien Hill drives into a garage and goes like, that. Oh, quick! Oh. I was crap at sport. When I was a kid, I was crap. You should see me on sports day. I was in the sack race like that. Right, let me out and I'll do it. <laughs> it's like the egg and spoon race. I was late for the egg and spoon race. I ran with a fucking chicken. <laughs> 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 uh, it's like boxing. I used to box. I was brilliant at boxing. I always came like second. <laughs> Third if there was a ref, you know what I mean? <laughs> And then you got the girl going around with the numbers, this girl, and you're like, ah, number two. What a crap job for a woman, that is. You never get that in any other sport, do you know what I mean? You won't get like a woman running around the track at the Grand Prix going like, ah, number two! <laughs> I don't know, I bought a cabinet the other day from MFR, I was putting it together with a little mo like that. Oh, it's weird. Kind of putting this cabinet together like this, right? The most important screw, the one that holds it all together. Sting! Always, they make the screw the same fucking colour as your carpet. Always. <laughs> It's strange when you look at something, you, something comes up you're looking for six months ago. You go like, ah, right, me shoe! Me shoe! I swear I've got me shoe, have I? It's like, uh, I bought, a, I don't know, I bought an extension lead the other day. What is it with extension leads? You kind of wrap them all up nice and neat, you hang them in the cupboard, you shut the cupboard, you go in for two minutes, you come back, open the cupboard, the fucking. <laughs> Why is it somebody nips in your ass and goes, oh, fuck it, I'm through. <laughs> oh. Like, uh, <laughs> went to, oh, well, I went to the early learning centre the other day. I can't work out how to get in there, can you? I can't. <laughs> I bought a water purifier and I shit in it and said, sort that liar. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. But, uh, I don't know. I... Sort of don't get on with shops. I hate shops when they make you feel guilty. Do you know what I mean? It's like when they hold your money up. You be in a shop and they, because they don't look at the money, they look at you, so your reaction is, they go like that, they go like that. <laughs> do you know what I do? As soon as I get the change, I hold this, I go, fucking you're in, you're in. <laughs> Even the coins, fucking you're in. It's like those big cameras and boots. You know the big ones, you can feel them come around, you see the red light come on, you sort of stand there, it make you feel guilty, you go like that. <laughs> Sorry, smash. <laughs> smash. <laughs> Bit of an echo. Takes a while to get here, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> I don't know, it's like, uh... It's like menswear shops. You've got a menswear shop, because I can't handle it. You've got a menswear shop, you know, and the music's like... <laughs> and the bloke's here going... Oh, yeah, yeah, great, everything's great, yeah! There's always a woman at the counter going, like, oh, I'm in mean, try them on, I mean, fucking go and try them on, you know what I mean? <laughs> going the little flappy doors, you know, in the cube, they're always checking up on you. Everything all right? Everything all right? No, it's not actually, you're getting on my fucking nerves. When a bloke comes out of that cubicle, his trousers are that long. Go like, ah, what do you think, love? What do you think? You're fucking all right, aren't they? <laughs> Who are they made for? That's the average man, that is. What's he wearing? Stilts? What's happening? <laughs> so, women, like, like ladies, you've got your buttons on the left, we've got ours on the right. What's that? What? I don't understand that. Why? We're not going to confuse a blouse, are we? <laughs> We're not going to put a blouse on and go, oh, it's got cups! <laughs> it's yours! So I never got the bike system, because like, like ladies got the V-shape like that and we got the crossbar, you know what I mean? Mm, lovely for catching your nuts on, thank you very much. <laughs> they should have airbags on there, you go... <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> you know, 
I hate shopping with my wife. I hate it. Oh, it's annoying. You'll always find me at the veg counter in the supermarket. One of those bags going, oh, I can't get it open. I can't get it open. <laughs> so your wife walks up to go, you've got it upside down. <laughs> so you ever walking down the high street with your wife and you're talking merrily away like that and they go off and look in a shop window. You find yourself talking to a complete fucking stranger. <laughs> Insane. I'm with her, I'm with her, I'm with her. What are you talking about there? Oh, yeah, here, yeah. Just a fucking deal. Just a fucking deal. Just a fucking deal. It's like air brakes on the high street. A bus will pull up next to you and go. <laughs> <laughs> they know they're doing it. Look at the driver's face like that. <laughs> They should have get something sorted out and they should put bar, like party blowers on them or something like that. They roll up and go. <laughs> <laughs> and so they have testers, didn't they, in supermarkets? Testers. That's where you go and go, would you like to try a bit of tea? Would you like a bit of caca? <laughs> Why don't they do testers for bug roll? That'd be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> Sorry, that bloke there's gone out on my god. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> so I saw a sign the other day, all you can eat for five quid. I went back the next day and went, well, I ain't finished yet. <laughs> it was only for the one day. It didn't fucking say, did it? <laughs> I'm angry. Pizza Hut, you go to Pizza Hut, right? Guaranteed, somebody will walk up to you in Pizza Hut and they go like that. Hi, would you like to stay for the salad bar? <laughs> uh, yes, please. What do they give you? A fucking egg cup. This is what they give you, right? <laughs> they give you a plate the size of a contact lens. Take whatever you like. Yeah, if I had the fucking plate, I would. <laughs> you can see people over the salad bar trying to force sweet corn into it going, go get a fucking salad over this car. <laughs> you don't want to walk back to your seat, the big pile of food, everyone's going, greedy bastard, greedy bastard. <laughs> The one I went to the other day. Oh, 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 a TGI Fridays, right? American style restaurant. Well, they're mental. <laughs> they're mental. I don't know. It's like an American, like have a nice day, all that kind of stuff. You know, I walked in, I was up all night working, I went in, sat in a booth like that. There's a <laughs> this bloke come out of the kitchen, he went, <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you are, aren't you? <laughs> I've actually worked out a really good way to get him back. I'm serious. What you want to do is be the same as them. Just before you go in, right, just before you go through the door, get yourself prepared, then burst through the door and go like that. Ha! <laughs> they can't handle it, they go like, oh my God, he's the same as us! <laughs> <laughs> Don't know, it's the only place you get that kind of service, do you know what I mean? Like in a, in a restaurant, you'd never get that kind of service like in a funeral parlor. You wouldn't, well, you know, you kind of walk in and someone comes up and goes, hi, who's dead? <laughs> you fucking will be in a minute, mate. <laughs> Yeah. It's an American phenomenon, that's what it is. You know, salesmanship, have a nice day, you know, howdy and all that. Trouble is, of course, we're British and it doesn't quite gel. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? No, we should have our own restaurant and we should be proud of it. We should have like crappy old Mondays. <laughs> yeah, well, you walk in, some bloke comes up to you and goes like that. Hi! Hey! <laughs> what can I do for you? <laughs> Not much, I hope. But when I went to the other day, the happy eater, that, well, miserable as fuck. <laughs> miserable in there. You walk in the happy eater, there's a woman behind the counter going like that. <laughs> Don't ask for chips. <laughs> oh, I fucking hate chips. Chips with this, chips with that. Chips with me, I doubt. I'm going to stick my hand in a deep fat fryer in a minute. <laughs> chips with this, chips with that. I think you should have a sign outside saying, I think everything's going to be all right. Eat her. So, oh, nightmare. Where's he gone? <laughs> Where's he gone? <laughs> what's, what's his name? What's his name? Jed. <laughs> <laughs>
Jedi. <laughs> Luke, don't go to the toilet, Luke. Oh dear. Is he gone? Where's he gone? Where's it? Oh, fuck, he's taking his time, isn't he? When I went to go, didn't he? He's on the toilet and they go. What's his second name? Jed? Exodus. Jed Exodus? Oh, so the vicar said, never on a Thursday. Hiya. Dunno, hi, 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 Jed. <laughs> so you had Exodus piss you wanted to get rid of, so that's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Jed Exodus. <laughs> Sounds like he's gonna go and get changed in a phone box, isn't it? Watch out for Jed Exodus. <laughs> I am the pisser. <laughs> I can fill a low in no time. But uh, you were aged in there. You only had to change your bag. What's the matter with you, Jeff? <laughs> but uh, he's like that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, sorry, sorry about Jed. No, no, no. <laughs> sorry, Jed. He's like that. You fucking robot. Fucking Exodus. But. Uh, I reckon he's just gone off to solve a crime and he's come back. <laughs> he just ran out in the street with that. Never mind, lady. Get away from that woman and stop mugging her. <laughs> it's Pisser Jed for Exodus here. <laughs> Get away. <laughs> all right, mate. All right, all right, all right. Okay, madam, you can go along your way. <laughs> but I was, uh, <laughs> I was sorry. Jed, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But uh, I don't know. It's like uh, I, I, I sort of do uh, sort of go to these cafes and all that. I sort of do travel around. I travel. I don't know. It's like I flew for the first time uh, this year. I was, I was a nightmare flying. You know when you're flying, you kind of like because uh, it, it, first of all I'm nervous and I hate being packed in in a, in a plane. You kind of like you're in a tube that you can smell other people's farts. It's like <laughs> kind of sat in like a battery hen, like you're eating your dinner off the bloke in front's head because he's come back. <laughs> on the plane for four hours. Well, after four hours, his breath, his breath. I mean, he was like in the room with radio waves. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Please face the other way. You're melting my face. <laughs> the nightmare. You know, it's like, and the stewardesses, they, they are so smug, because we never fly and they fly all the time. They're like, a stewardess will walk up to you and they go like that. Oh, yes. <laughs> I know I am ugly. <laughs> and you are beautiful. <laughs> but please help us. You know. They always got the front behind the curtains. Have you noticed that? They always got the front and they always close the curtains. What, what are they doing up there? All right, as soon as they get to the curtains, they close them like that and they go like that. Loads of room. <laughs> I can run. <laughs> Even the pilots up front with them going, who cares if we cry? <laughs> Fuck the passengers. Stewardess. <laughs> oh, yes. They come along, check your crutch. No, they say they're checking the seatbelts, but they're actually looking at your crutch. What's their eyes? They go along and go, like, oh, crutch. Oh, crutch. <laughs> crutch. <laughs> they take you through the survival routine, do you know what I mean? And they've done it so often, they're bored of it. And we want to know what they're saying. They could put the thing over your head, pull the string, and let the door fuck off. <laughs> what did you say? Oh, pull the thing, pull the string, like I got a little whistle. Oh, yeah, shove off, go on. 
because what we're thinking, I've got a granny in front of me, I could just elbow, there's a bloke there, I could just nut him and I'm out the fucking door. <laughs> Women and children first. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can see all the blokes here going like that. Yeah? Yeah, you're hurling towards the floor at 400 mile an hour, you go like, go on, love! <laughs> You wouldn't do that at all. You go, fuck off, I'm fucking going. <laughs> where are you going, Frank? I'm fucking going without you. That's where I'm going. <laughs> so we get to the airport, right? And it's one of those airports, well, that sort of lands there, the airport. Where else would you land? Yeah, you know. Sort of lands at the airport. And it's one of those airports when the students sit at the front and they go, uh, just waiting for a bus. Well, waiting for a bus? <laughs> what do we waiting for a bus? We're just flying like 30 million miles. Now we've got to get on a bus. No, 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 no. The plane couldn't make it to the terminal. Oh, no, 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 no. You get to get on a fucking bus. <laughs> if you've been on a bus at an airport, you get down the stairs, you get on the bus, it goes, and they go, oh, laugh. <laughs> I mean, I could have got on the back door and got the fucking front one. <laughs> he does a lot of mileage in a day, didn't he? That bloke had a hard day at work, didn't he? Yeah, got about eight foot today. <laughs> Up and down, you know. Oh. But you'll always find me on the motorway on the M1 going up somewhere trying to benefit or a gig or something. Always trying to do something. I don't know, it's weird. I sort of fell asleep at the wheel the other day, just slumped over the wheel like that. A taxi driver went, fuck, I'm trying to drive you, twat. <laughs> uh, what are they spraying the fields with these days? You drive in the country anyway. Oh my God, you have to turn to your mate in the car and go, you farted. <laughs> no, in case they think it's you, do you know what I mean? And their reply is, oh, thanks, I smell like seven acres of shit. So cattle trucks, yeah, oh, you ever see them cattle trucks on the motorway? Oh, you're kind of driving out on the motorway like that. And you can see them, they've got like slats in the side, they've got their noses poking through, going, oh. Like, <laughs> you're gonna die! You're gonna die! Eh? Hey? <laughs> you're gonna die! He reckons we're gonna die! <laughs> That's not what it says in the brochure. It's like this mad cow disease, you know? It's getting to me now. I don't, know, I don't understand. I've got this vision, right, of a load of cows in the field, one of them reading the paper, going like that. Here, it says here, right, if we're mental, they don't eat us. There's a farmer. <laughs> it's like, there's like other cows going, fuck off his mind. Shaving foam. <laughs> oh, it's like road rage. Everyone does a bit of road rage. You know when you're going out, yeah, fuck you, fuck you, fucking bunch of fucking lights, are you twat? You know, you get to the next set of lights, they go red, you go like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's when they get out of the car, bang on your window, go like that. Get out of your twat, and seven balls are shot at you. I can't see him, I can't see him. <laughs> it's like soft top cars. People in this country have soft top cars. It rains nearly every day. I don't understand. And the sun only has to do this. Oh, out of a cloud. Oh, and they go, <laughs> soft top. <laughs> it's freezing cold, mate. You got ice hanging from your nose. <laughs> yeah, but I want to use it. It's not high curbs. I hate parking up next to a high curb. You park up next to a high curb, you go to open your door and it jams up against the curb. You kind of go, oh, you have to kind of squeeze out of the gap there like that. And then the weight comes out of the car. You forget about it when you come back, the door opens its normal, you sit in the car, the weight takes it down, that's jammed open. I can't. <laughs> They should have high curbs outside every bank. There would never be a bank job. They'd drive up and go, Shh, right, move! You go, I can't get out, I can't fucking get out. <laughs> ambulances. I know, what happened in, like, in the 15th century when there was no ambulances, when there was no first aid? What happened? What did they do? Like somebody got knocked over by a cart in the 15th century, somebody would run up and go, all right, wait a minute, let me get someone. Come here, quick, quick, look. <laughs> If you get better, I'll see you later. <laughs> when you break your leg, you know when you break your leg, somebody will always say to you, oh, well, you know, you were lucky, really. No, I want to break my leg. <laughs> I mean, it could have been worse. It could have been fucking better. <laughs> hey, are you lucky trap? Two broken legs, all right. Ugh. <laughs> uh. I reckon the police, I oh don't know, it's like, well, I had my car stolen the other day. 
But uh, I got their number, so you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it's like uh, I surprised the burglar yesterday. I broke into his fucking house. Because I read the news, I, don't know, I keep up with the news and all that. It's like, I like the weatherman. The weatherman's fantastic. Because I like that switch. All weathermen have got that switch because they've got that other cumbria. It's going to be very warm. And what are they doing with that? I reckon they're playing scale electrics. <laughs> they've got that other, other cumbria. It's going to be, oh, Jim, 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 put it, come off. Put it back on. Put it back on. <laughs> so on the weather, when they say it's going to be 80 mile an hour winds out today, does that mean if we're going down the motorway, 80 miles an hour with the wind, you stick your head out the window, it's a normal day? <laughs> No, I was reading about stamps, right? Stamps have gone up to 26 pence. They were 25. I ain't paying that. <laughs> I'm not. Still good value, though. 26 pence. If somebody gave me 26 pence to take that to Scotland, I'd go, fuck off. <laughs> I mean, for the petrol. If it was on my moped, yeah, but you know. <laughs> second class. What's all that about, then? Second class. It all goes through the same system, doesn't it? What, they just a bit slow with it, are they? You go like, <laughs> oh, it's the first quick. All right. I'm knackered now, but uh, have you heard? Michael Jackson's getting back together. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it's like, you know, I would do watch the news. It's like that time when all the bombs were going off in London, you know, because I was working uh, a couple of doors away. I was working in the West End there, and uh, I was, I was, I mean, my pants were full. They were going off everywhere. No, because the police seal everything off. They go, can't go down there, can't go down there, can't go down there. It's like one bloke sealed off like that. I go, only come out and get the papers, what happened? <laughs> So what gets me, the police seal the street off with ribbon. They put ribbon across the street. Yeah, that's going to stop a blast. Fucking well done. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's what you should do. Walk up to a copper stood next to the ribbon and go, it's not going to stop the blast, you know. go, fuck it, no, it's not, is it? No. <laughs> so if I wrap ribbon around my head, walked into the biggest, like, the biggest geezer in London, he'd go, like, oh, no, ribbon, no, no, no. <laughs> Shit, God. Oh, bloody hell. Isn't it warm? I don't know. I reckon the police, anyway, should use elephants instead of police dogs. I do, because they never forget. Elephants never forget. They've got brilliant memories. No, there'd be like a crime scene going on like that, and the elephant would go, oh, sure, I've got black hair, beard, blue eyes. No, crim criminals would get out of a car, be running into the bank and go like, oh, oh, the elephant seen me. Because <laughs> I... <laughs> I don't know, so I, I, used to have a, I used to have a homing pigeon when I was little, and it always came back. It had to, it was on elastic. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, uh, it's like spiders, I like spiders. You know, like, especially in the summer, you know, you walk past a spider and it sees you and you see the spider and they do that play dead thing, they go, oh, oh, no. <laughs> You know, as soon as you walk away, they go like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh, It's like, uh, <laughs> I don't know, spiders, I was out in Australia a little while ago. You should see the spiders out there, they're huge. Like, what are you fucking looking at, mate? They're huge. I mean, they've got faces, they shave and everything. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I got a dog, I got a dog. So you rattle the lead in front of him like that, you go, walk, walk, you go, ah, me, walk, walk. Even when you're out walking, you go like, ah, walk, you go, me, walk, walk, you're already fucking walking. <laughs> you know, dogs do that, they go, ah, 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 ah. don't pull then, don't pull then on the lead. <laughs> Use your fucking head, boy! Don't pull! <laughs> I actually found out the other day that dogs mark their territory by dumping. They do, they mark their territory, they go like that, they go... <laughs> That's all mine, mate! <laughs> That's all mine! Wait, 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 wait! <laughs> Just built an extension there. <laughs> Bit of a conservatory for the summer. But, uh, I don't know, you know, there's a, every year in the southern part of England, there's a water shortage. Fucking dilute it. <laughs> oh, I've been thinking, you know what I mean? I tried to call down for the summer, I got my hair cut. And the trouble is they humiliate you in the hairdressers. You go in the hairdressers and they sit you in the seat, right, and they brush all your hair forward like that. So you look a twat, right? <laughs> then they want to chat. You go, going on holiday this year? You go, oh, fucking, yeah, fill me full of confidence, why not? <laughs> and let's have a chat, shall we? I don't know. It's like they put this thing on. Have you, have you noticed this thing? They've got, they've got this rubber mat, right? They put this rubber mat on here to save the hair coming down here. I've noticed something, right? It's the same shape as the one you put around your toilet, isn't it? <laughs> Are you going to piss on my head? <laughs> and then 
they say, do you want your hair washed? Yes, please, I'll have my hair washed. I'll put you on, on the, you know, the, the, I don't know, the wobbly sink. You go, uh, uh, do you want a cup of tea? Uh, yes, 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 yes. I thought he was going to whack a funnel in your mouth and go, here yeah, I then. <laughs> and then the apprentice comes out to wash your hair. Have you seen the apprentice? Malcolm's sister. <laughs> do you want conditioner? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like when they got the water going, they go, it's not too hot for you, is it? Go, no! <laughs> and all hairdressers make you look like a criminal. They actually make you look like a murderer because they lead you from the sink over to the chair and they go like that. Quickly, this way. <laughs> Quickly, this way. Quick. people on the news going across a prison courtyard, they're not going to prison, they got their hair done. That's what they're doing. <laughs> it's like uh, a wash and go. What's all that about? He should have instructions for people like me. It should, it should have like wash, rinse off and dry. Four days I've said their fucking suds all coming down here. So... <laughs> this cannot be fucking ranked. My mum, my mum used to do a hair in the kitchen. In the kitchen, my mum used to go like that in the kitchen. Remember that bottle of lacquer used to buy one squeeze in the ozone layer, we'd go, rrr. <laughs> Little bit in the kitchen, go, <laughs> Used to back comb it up, it was like, Fucking <laughs> <laughs> lacquer everywhere. The rest of the family be in the kitchen with the guy, Fucking <laughs> <laughs> lacquer, there was flies in mid bars, you know what I mean? <laughs> it was rock hard. If you turn horizontally, you could bash doors down with a red. <laughs> I mean, Dad used to wear loads of grease on his hair. If you ran in their bedroom in the morning, if you landed on me Dad's pillow, you go straight out the window. <laughs> if you landed on me Mum's pillow, we can stick to it. It's like <laughs> <laughs> my Mum. All Mums have got asbestos hands. I believe this. They can just pick up hot stuff. They can then go like, yeah, I got to stick to it. <laughs> it's not hot. <laughs> it's, not, <laughs> it's not hot. Look, it's not hot. How do they do it? Red or dare? Crap. Your mum could just walk up to a roaring fire and go like that. Right. <laughs> it's out in the fuck off. <laughs> People always do that. They hand you a hot plate and they tell you after. They go like that. Oh, fucking watch out. It's hot. And you go, oh, yeah, thanks. Right. <laughs> but uh, I've, got my, I've got my own family now. I've got my own family. And that's my job. I have to look after them. That's what I am here for. It's weird. My balls work. It's amazing. Uh, a little mole like that, she's like that. Because you know, there's young people in the audience now, I can see, you know what I mean? But you know, when you go, that kid's bad. But if they come along, and their, their little eyes are going, like, ah. <laughs> you can't look after them, do you know what I mean? It's amazing. And uh, it's like, you ever been driving up the motorway? See that bloke with the kid with the pants down going to the toilet on the side of the motorway there? Me, that's me, that is. No, I'll be there with my kid like that going, quickly go toilet. <laughs> quickly go toilet. <laughs> ah, ah, fucking you and all, mate. <laughs> Quickly go, oh look, it's a big one, it's a big one, look. Look, yeah, look, give it to the cows, quick, in the car. <laughs> have to. Have to. Who knows? Who knows the future, you know what I mean? It's weird, I don't know. I was sort of bombing around, I was 17, doing the clubs and all that, getting your head kicked in, fucking, oh, it's amazing. I've got some good stories to tell though, but that's for another time, maybe. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much indeed, all the very best to you.